Greetings. Well met. Light be with you. King's honor friend. What can I do for you? Hey guys, what's up? Mad season here. Back with another stream for you. Okay, a lot of ketchup here. So, for those of you who have been keeping a close, close eye on the YouTube channel right this moment, like 10 minutes ago, just posted a video for you guys. It's the one I've been talking about for a while. It's called uh, the Diablo 3 Dumpster Fire. Actually, can we do a quick sound check real quick? Um, I have my streaming computer set up again, and I have not really tested it. I feel like, am I too loud maybe? I'm going to turn my mic down a bit. I feel like I'm peaking. I'm peaking, I believe. So I'm going to take a few decibels away from you guys. I think maybe that. Okay, how's that? Is this okay now? I turned it down a little bit. I probably shouldn't be adjusting it while asking you guys if it's good. It kind of confuses things. Am I peaking? How about now? Maybe a little bit, a little bit, a little bit lower. I'm taking six decibels off myself. How about that? I could, actually, you know what? I could, um, here, I have to turn on my light. Get, give me one second. How's this? Now it's quieter than the music. <laughs> Here, give me a moment. I'm sorry, you guys. Give me one, one moment. I have, um, actually. I do have a compressor built in, but it's not kicking on for some reason. Uh, testing, testing. What How about that? Are we okay? Is this okay now? How's our audio looking now? I might adjust this a little bit off stream. I probably should have done that before starting stream. But hopefully that's okay. Um, so, well, first off, I want to say thank you to Max Booger, who came on in during the intro with the uh, Tier 1 for 11 months. Thank you, Max. And also I want to say thank you to uh, TT McPP um, for the uh, Tier 1 for 12 months. Much appreciated. So, um... It's a little bit high, says Vice. Let me turn it down just a smidge. Just a little smidge. And I'll keep the music like... I think the music maybe is too loud. There we go. Um, so, YouTube channel. I just posted a video. It's the Diablo 3 Dumpster Fire. It's a 40-minute video, if you can believe it. Very, very long one. The premiere of a new series. I've already told you guys about this a million times. I, I won't go over the whole spiel again, but uh, it's a new series dedicated to the various dumpster fires on social media. And uh, I figured I'd start with the Blizzard game, considering my background. So that just went live on the channel. Uh, it's a new series dedicated... Just a moment ago. Sorry, that was my own voice. I pulled up my Twitch stream. Yeah, my, my voice sounds pretty good right there, I think. As long as I keep my distance from my mic and I don't get too close to you guys. <laughs> Sorry, that was really creepy. <laughs> um, so yeah, sorry about the delay there. I meant to have that out a few days ago. But uh, yeah, I had some issues. Uh, that video is sponsored. If, as you probably already know if you watched the first five seconds. So I had to uh, I had to make sure the sponsor was good to go. Um, so finally, uh, we got that. We got that uh, released to you guys. Um, Rybar with the intro shout out re redemption. Hey, Rybar, what's up? Mad season here. Back with another stream for you. How's it going, man? Thank you so much. Um, I am working. Well, first off, Big Phase 3 news, I see. I saw that Blizzard put up a, uh, a video, I have not watched it yet, I was going to wait for you guys so we could watch it together, and I would say let's do that now, but I have a Nomrigan run in 15 minutes, um, I was unable to start stream on time today, so yeah, we have a Nomer run coming up, I, well, I think it's in 15 minutes. Is it in 15 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes? I actually have to check. Uh, Tompology, thank you, man, for the tier one for eight months. He says, uh, how long do I need to stay subbed for you to watch the third Lord of the Rings movie? 
69 years. Wait, do I have 60 more 9 years in me? Ooh. Ooh, I'm not sure. It's especially with the amount of Mountain Dew I'm drinking. Actually, I'm just kidding it. I'm kidding about that. Mountain Dew, please sponsor me, okay? Please sponsor me. Um, yeah, so check out that video right now or later. Whatever you want. You can save it for nighttime to lull yourself to sleep. It is a 40-minute one. Um... I am working on the next video, and you guys may be surprised to know the next video is Pandora's Box. I've been talking about this for a while. People have been asking me, Mad Season, where is the next Pandora's Box? And I say, thank you for watching my series. I love Pandora. It is my passion project. However, um... The videos just take too long for me, and they take a lot out of me. So this comes with a big asterisk, though. Uh, this is... it's... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll spoil it, and I, I want to attach a big maybe to this, too, because I could change my mind, okay? Um, so Pandora's Box is sort of like my kind of longer form, more very highly edited series. Kind of more on the documentary side of things. I've told you guys that I've been wanting to uh, bust into the the uh, the realm of video game reviews for quite a while, and the first one I'm going to do is Sekiro, and um, I figured that I wanted to, instead of just calling it Sekiro Shadows Die Twice Review, I'm going to turn it into an episode of Pandora, and I'm going to open up Pandora to a, it's kind of a, it's kind of a unique style. They're video game reviews, but they're also kind of documentaries in form. I'm not really sure how to explain it. Um, I don't want to say that it's never been done on YouTube before, because everything has been done on YouTube, but it'll be kind of a uh, cinematic review style, I guess is the best way to describe it. And so Pandora from now on will be kind of, well, kind of like my, um, in a way, kind of like my WoW Pandora. You know how much history we had with World of Warcraft and everything. So when I, I talk about Sekiro, I talk about a little bit about the history from software and stuff and the gaming sphere as a whole. It's it's kind of like a review slash history slash documentary type of series. And that's what I want Pandora to be. There'll be really, really long episodes like the WoW video where I'll go more into a documentary style and there'll be smaller episodes like the Sekiro video, which is looking to be about... 30-ish minutes long, I might add to it, and uh, it'll, it'll be more on the review side of things, um, and they'll be uh, pretty highly edited, like, like what is standard for that series, so, yeah, uh, I'm pretty excited about it, Sekiro is a game I'm very passionate, it's, it's very recent, it might sound surprising considering my affinity for classic games, but, uh, <laughs> No, I do like modern games as well. There's a lot of there's a lot of gems out there in modern gaming, and Sekiro's a, a, a game I'm very passionate about, and I have a lot to say about it. So, yeah, I think you guys will like it. If if you're from software fan at all, I think you'd like it, and I think I'll probably, uh, depending on the feedback of that, if you guys like it, we can roll straight into like Dark Souls, one, two, three, Kingsfield. Bloodborne, Elden Ring, and, and other videos as well, other series. I don't want to limit myself just to From Software, but yeah. Big happenings. Big happenings on the YouTube side of things. Very excited. Guys, watch my video either right now or later, whatever, whichever you prefer. I'm, uh, I'm back editing, and I feel really, really refreshed. Both streaming and editing, I feel really refreshed and... Ready and rearing to go. So I'll put the Viagra away. Just get me in front of Sony Vegas, okay? Um, Gameplay-wise, what we will be doing today... Let me check, actually, if this... Uh, wait, what? Oh, my YouTube auto-played to the classic soundtrack. Let's just go with the Darnassus music right now. I'm still in phase one, I guess. Um... I'm gonna see exactly when this this raid is starting because I forget. It's either in ten minutes or an hour in ten minutes. Let's see. 
It is I How do I do Discord here? Here we go. It is 4:30 p.m. Yeah. That's server time. Okay. Yeah, it starts in 10 minutes. Okay. So, oh, Slipshot. Thank you, man. I uh, appreciate that. Thank you for the tier 1 for 7 months. Okay, I would react to the phase 3 video that they posted, but we don't have enough time. Maybe what we could do tonight, if you guys want, is we do this Noma raid. Maybe we stop by and do a little bit of that hardcore goodness on our melee survival hunter. And then maybe we can cap off the night with a little bit of Elden Ring. I've started a uh, challenge run on Elden Ring. I'm trying to de beat every single boss in the game as a level 1 naked wretch. So, yeah, we just started that last stream, so I'd like to continue that. Okay, well, sounds like a plan, man. Um, let me get all consumed out. So, I do not... So, I'm not dead weight for my raid here. Let's see, so, Nomer, you want nature prop potions, right? You want faps... I'm gonna want uh, agility, elixirs, let's see, I've only fished on this character recently, <laughs> so it's been a little while, oh, I also don't, so again I'm on my uh, streaming computer so I don't have my Razer Naga right now. So all of these mouse button abilities, I'll just have to click for this raid. I'm gonna order another one, so I don't have to keep switching them. Okay, all right, we're we're repaired up. We're gonna have to get to Iron Forge. Hey, Greg Fork, how's it going, man? Says hope you're feeling well. I got a good feeling about the loot in Nomer tonight. Yeah, me too. I think we're gonna get that gun, maybe. Wish you the best of luck with your dice rolls. Well, thank you, Greg. That's very nice, man. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna at least get the gun, so. We'll be good to go. Was it just elixir of agility, right? I probably won't do mana food because I got viper, so it's like, eh, whatever. It's not that important for hunter. Okay. I just bought by a five stacker. So it's nature prot as well, right? Nature prot. Oops, not prut. Nature prot. Uno, dos. And I'll buy a few more faps. Can never have enough faps, am I right? One, two, three. Spent all that money I earned. It. Well, uh, hang on. Do we have a um? Do we have a release date for phase three? Do you guys know? Do we have a release date for phase three? How's the golden come from the squid? I, uh, I've been holding on to these ones. Oh, actually, let me look real quick. Let's see how... Wait, why am I... I have my mount now. I keep forgetting. April 4th. Well, April, I, I may as well not even do the profession stuff, right? Unless that'll carry over into the next phase. Because that profession stuff is expensive. I gotta think about that. Damn it! I've I've, so, I've missed phase two so much. I missed the boat on this one. I've had a uh, just wow! No way! Winter squid is going for a gold sixty each already. Holy crap! That's crazy. Okay. Yep. Let's hold on to these bad boys. They're gonna go up even further. Um. Yeah, I just had a lot of real life stuff. Uh, pop up during phase two so I wasn't uh, I've hardly been able to play this phase I only have my hunter at level 40 so yeah I've been uh, I've gotten like three or four gnomers in but yeah other than that I've been this phase kind of just flew past me um, let's head on over to uh, Eastern Kingdoms Hey, what's up, Jidzy? You hear about the guy who lost his left leg? He's alright now. Ooh, nice dad joke. 
if I ever exchange fluids and uh, create a spawn of myself, I'm going to use that one. Greg Fork says that, uh, I'm not sure if you heard, but this morning they locked character creation on Chaos Bolt and started offering free transfers to Crusader Strike. You know what? I, I called this crap. I said, so people are going to hate me because I'm a dirty streamer, man. But, uh, so all the streamers, the dirty rotten streamers, they picked Crusader Strike, the RP PvP server, and um, basically flooded it with all of their sycophant followers. <laughs> this is Reddit's language, okay? Not mine. Um, and uh, people... Uh, understandably so got pretty angry because streamers and their viewers generally aren't going to RP or anything right so they made a new server called Chaos Bolt a second RP PvP server and I said on launch day and many times after that I said you know what that's good but my worry is that and this was happened with the 2019 classic release is that the server will die after this huge initial surge follow my mouse cursor every MMO has this big hype build up period and then this huge surge right at launch and then it the tourists leave right so creating new servers at the peak of population while it does kind of stymie the blood flow on launch day um, after this drop off those new servers are usually the first to die um, so that does not surprise me at all that uh they're locking character creation on Chaos Bolt and offering free transfers to Crusader, Crusader Strike. Uh, I'm sure that's probably pretty controversial because it's uh, still the streamer server. I, I would like to say right here, okay, I did not want to even roll on this server. I wanted to... I wanted to be on a PvE server, okay? I am on this server against my own willpower. I rolled on this server because my friends rolled on it and I don't want to play solo so and I don't want to make new friends or anything pretty antisocial so I'm, I was forced against my own will okay just saying it right now what's up frozen legend how's it going man uh, I'm not sure AO oh I, yeah I did hear this I heard sunken temple is going to be 20 men which is interesting no, I don't have a, a, a core group. I, I guess I was probably just going to roll with Clothis or, or, or these guys. Whatever. Whoever will take me, honestly. <laughs> I'm a promiscuous hunter. I'll go, I'll, I'll go with whoever takes me. First come, first serve. Ride the bag train, baby. No, I, don't, uh, I haven't established a core group or anything. I'll just kind of wing it, I guess. Whoever wants me will have me. But 20 man ST is interesting. Zer interessant. Uh, I told you guys that I'm a fan of the bigger raids in vanilla. I, uh, I'm not, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too much of a fan of Molten Core being 20 man. It's not going to stop me from playing and I understand it's sad. So, you know, it's, 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 the goal is to kind of try new things and experiment, right? So I'm, it's, it's all good. But uh, I'm actually kind of glad that Sunken Temple is 20 man, so we're, we're beefing it up a little bit. So we're really going to get this party started. My game's a little saturated today. Is it? I think yeah, something's going on with my mic. So hang on one second. My um, how's my mic sounding, you guys? So I I just switched to my streaming setup. That's why this is happening. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna because I have two uh, two DBZ TB, DBXs here. I'm gonna look at the settings of my other one and kind of here. Give me a second.
I don't know what's going on. I have the same, uh, here, one sec. Let me, uh, control panel. Maybe I have like a boost on or something. You know, I knew I should have, uh, adjusted this before. Before launching stream. Sorry about this, you guys. Levels, enhancements, properties, listen levels. Ooh, actually, you know what? It might be my audience thing. One sec. Oh, Whitey, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, here, one sec. sounding now now I bet I sound quiet how's this though this a uh, little bit better how are we looking this how's this is this okay are we uh are we still blown out i believe the blowout should not be blown out anymore i shouldn't be peaking anymore i think and, uh, and now you guys should be able to hear me better sounds good now all right cool yeah it was my sorry about that it was my audio interface i did not have that set up correctly. My bad, you guys. Thank you for uh, the troubleshooting, though. Oh, damn it. I don't have a mouse pad. Okay, if I die in Nomergon, it's because I don't have a mouse pad, okay? Have a good one. Let's get over there. Yeah, there might be a little bit of kinks to work out here and there. And this, uh, it's not a new setup, but it's new at my house. Um, so some of you may know I had poopy internet, which only allowed me to stream at, <gasps> excuse me, three megabits per second upload. So uh, I uh, moved my streaming computer over to my brother's basement, who actually had good internet. Yes, in my 30s, playing World of Warcraft in a basement, living the dream essentially. But I've since upgraded my own internet, so there's no real reason to have my computer over there anymore. So I, I moved that back over to my place now. So, um, but I, I guess I, I, I uh, messed up my audio interface in the moving process. The, the dials probably like got jostled or something. Yeah, it's peak lifestyle. <laughs> There's people like partying upstairs, socializing, exchanging fluids. I'm in the basement playing recreation of a 20 year old video game. You know how it is. <laughs> Only come up to grab a nice cold one of Mountain Dew. You guys know what, what it's like. You finished the Diablo 3 video? Nice, Lithium, thank you. Thank you for watching. What did you think of it? Oh, you said nice, so you probably liked it. Still work out? I do indeed. 
I have two addic addictions. Well, three addictions. Mountain Dew, World of Warcraft, and the gym. Although I've been better at Mountain Dew recently. Not so much WoW, as you could tell. But, uh, yeah, I've dropped Mountain Dew, really, for tea. I'm a tea guy now. Mm -hmm. Did you move your poop bucket, too? Yep, got that right at the side here, so we can keep Parson and playing the Bidgey game. Leave for the gym soon. Should I play your stream through my speaker so everybody gets to listen? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'll blast some DBZ music or something. I listen to DBZ music when I work out. It works, okay? Just throw on Super Saiyan 3 theme. You're going to lift 50% more weight. Guaranteed. Actually, it's not a guarantee. Don't, don't hurt yourself. Be careful, you guys. Avoiding the data leaks... Um, I, I do plan on, I do plan on, um, watching the phase three video with you guys, but I'll probably won't do like the wow head leaks or anything. I don't know. We'll see. Usually, uh, these days I kind of like to keep it, uh, a surprise for myself, but yeah, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not too, uh, intense about it, I guess. I hear that people really like the Phase 3 video, though, so I'm kind of excited to watch it. I think that we'll react to that after this Nomer run, if you guys want. And then, I think, like I said, we're going to do a little bit of hardcore mode. And then I'm going to get my Elden Ring on. So what I'm trying to do, uh, and I've been failing at, but, well, whenever I'm not busy with personal stuff, I'm trying to get five minutes of editing in a day, and that's not five minutes real time, that's five minutes, like editing five minutes of a video, which that, that can take like 10 hours sometimes, depending on how, how hardcore it is. Um, so I'm gonna try to edit through five minutes of a video which could take hours, and I'm going to try to do at least four-hour streams for you guys daily. But with streaming, there may... Streaming, uh, I'll definitely take... If I had a choice of maybe I can only edit or stream in, in one of these days, I'll probably more likely edit. Um... No, no offense to you guys, but uh, I have a lot of videos I want to make, so I really want to get going on them. Oh, we got some a nice Dankeschön. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chris, has you excited since Dreamer off? Yeah, that's what I hear. Hey, clip, uh, sip rather. How's it going? You're craving your late night streams here in Europe. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I've been pretty uh, inconsistent with streaming recently, so I'm hoping hoping to fix that here. Uh, trying my best, I'll tell you that much right now. It's tough to uh, it's tough to balance the three the three things. I got a uh, YouTube going on, um, streaming, and you know just personal stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's been kind of a challenge recently. Goodbye streams. Nah, I'll, I'll try to stream like four or five days a week at the very least. Maybe I won't hit four hours each of those days slash nights, but I'll try not to be too absent for you guys. I like streaming. I like doing both. I want to try to do both so I don't burn out from either. I, uh, I think that's the best way to handle it. Oh, do you guys love this beautiful Nomer music? Oh, they, they've zoned in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, are we, uh, are we on Discord? Are we Discording it up? Ooh, it looks like no Discord. I don't, I don't see any, at least. Okay. Alright, let me get in game mode here. 
why is this? Oh, well, my add-ons are all screwed up. I, I knew there's going to be something like this going on. My add-ons are going to be all messed up. Uh, Dolby, I think I saw you in stream. Are you still here? We're, are we uh, in voice comms right now, or are we? Uh... Let me see. Maybe I'm on the wrong Discord. I think that's a different group. Oh, are my in-game sounds overpowering me a bit? Okay, hang on. Uh, I'm gonna turn. It, hang on. Uh, I'm gonna do that, and I'm also going to turn this down. How about? Uh, how's this? Well, actually, hang on. Let me get into combat. How's this with compared to my voice? And is this a little bit too loud for you guys? Or are the sounds too loud? I mean, uh, one second. Yeah, my O key on this keyboard is like malfunctioning. I gotta get a new keyboard, I think. Sod fun? I like I like Sod. I have fun with Sod. I have fun with hardcore too. I play Sod pretty casually these days. Maybe in phase three we'll be able to pick it up a little bit. But I've been having fun with it. It's I always say it's vanilla with a little a little lemon twist vanilla with sprinkles on top yeah my o key is weird sometimes when i hit o nothing happens and then other times when i hit o like it'll do like five o's oh they are on discord They're gonna drag me in. Ah, okay. Oh, I see, I see. Hello. Oh, I can't hear them. Shoot. Oh, I, this is all screwed up. Yeah, you guys can pull. I will figure it out. Uh. Test. 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 Oh, God. This is all screwed up. <laughs> I can't hear him. Oh, darn it. Okay. Why can't I hear this? What has happened? How do I download more RAM? I think that's my issue. Why is this not working? Can you guys hear uh, Discord voices on stream? Why is this not working? What the hell? Input device. Wait. Ah, uh, there we go. Let me fight this. Test. Test. Can you guys, uh. Can you guys hear the Discord voices now? Oh, they're fighting him in here. Okay, good. I screwed up input and output. I swear I edit videos all the time and do like voice work all the time. I totally know what I'm doing. Um, I was 
Yeah, what was my third complaint? <laughs> the movement uh, is not as good as the first one. No, no, no. We got, we got the elite strat. <clears throat> And then the, yeah, the, the okay, so uh, what I'm looking for from oh, let me let's finish the boss first, and I'll show you guys what I'm looking for from here. Oh. Aside from that, I think the game is fucking. Okay, we got that. Okay, good, good, good. We gotta make sure we hit the part clouds. Uh, I, I'll save my nature pride potion. Oh no, I never. Are you kidding me? I never retrieved my consumables from the mail. Damn it. Well, I have FAP, so I should be okay. Arrow, like I, Shit. I blew up the explosive arrow, and then the two others that have the explosive arrows next to them blew up simultaneously. I literally I knew I was forgetting something. So cool <laughs> I gotta Slow down. manually click rapid fire. I have a feeling I'm supposed to be in here too, so I avoid the uh, green fart clouds. I suppose this would be a good, yeah, the best strategy, right? Because then that'll always hit the ads. Yeah. yeah. Let me go ahead and hunter's mark. It's been a little bit since I played this. You're gonna have to give me a little leeway. I can kill bosses as a level one wretch in Elden Ring. However, asking me to do basic things as a hunter is kind of kind of asking a lot, admittedly. Uh, okay, we need these. I, well, I don't know if I'm gonna do the. That's the only thing that drops. Also, Double plate. To drop my idol that I've never seen Here's what dropped. The girdle of reclamation. Yeah. We got a pally belt here. We got belt of the trog berserker. Dude, I need the fucking belt that drops from him Warrior I literally primal. have not seen it once. I've never seen oh, there's a mailbox in the dungeon. Ah, oh, that's right, right. Yeah, in the clean room. Good call. I have never seen it Good call. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, Stomping Goblin, thank you, hey, man. Yeah, uh, hey, I hope you enjoyed that one. Hey, Dave Blizzard? Yeah, I've gotten really I good mean, feedback on uh, it. I'm pretty happy with it myself. Yeah, thank you, dude. With, uh, that glimmering dagger. Yeah, it doesn't actually look... The one that doesn't actually look glimmering. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm like, already like, working one on one the, the weapons, next one. Like, one of the three weapons uh, that you added this phase that actually just... It's a Sekiro like video. And then after that, I think I want to do a WoW video. I have a few yeah. wow yeah, ideas yeah, I, wanna, okay, I wanted to do. Thanks, I kind of I'm in the wow video mood, so there'll be a couple of non wow videos here in a row on the channel. But after that, I got a couple. Well, at least one wow video. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do like a crazy streak, but it looks like a knife that like some like grizzled veteran busts out when he's like spreading fucking lard on a cracker. Like, so you guys like this awesome music? Actually, hang on, let me, uh... Whoa, Vanilla Iron Forge theme. I'm switching to Iron Forge for you guys. Actually, let's do a two-hour version. There we go. Now we are. I'm also going to answer my phone here in the middle of my stream. Yeah, no, to put the fucking price in it. I'm deprioritizing you guys. The price of shit after I bought it. I'm so fucking tilted. Bro, oh, they're would... doing that? I didn't even know. Oh that. my god, yeah, I would. They're, li they're exploring I'd... other ways to have levels. I'd literally be like Bezos up in this bitch. I need a gold. Oh, I mean, like, especially. Raid, I mean, but the only thing I could make any money off would have been the enchants, anyways, because I don't use the uh, engineering item out here. This isn't too loud, right? Nope. Yeah. This IF music. Uh, mailbox. Here we go. Nice. I'm so glad I remember this stuff. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, damn it. Guys, somebody pulled. I'm not sure who it was. I have no idea who it was, but yeah, they totally pulled. Hold on, I'm sucking him. 
failed. How does it fail? Come on, kitty cat. You failed. Oh, if you're on the second one, sometimes it does fail. You gotta keep repeating it. Act music doesn't quite hit like the Bond pause music. I know, right? I want a uh, golden eye. I want a um, a golden eye watch IRL. They actually make them. I've seen them. I've seen them on social media. I would totally use that crap. And then I would hum the theme to myself every time I look at my watch. And every time, like, I hurt myself or stubbed my toe, I'd be all like... <laughs> Damn it, you made me want to play Goldeneye. The game defined my generation as a late 30s man. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I'm not late. Actually, I'm not late 30s. I'm I'm uh, early 20s. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's for quest. Okay, I'm glad that my damage meters doesn't seem to be active because I'm probably not doing too well. I'm playing on my War Hunter. What time do you think you watch the Phase Three vid? Go to the gym now, but I don't want to miss your reaction to it. Um, probably after No More Gun here. So however long that takes. This is biscuit. You also can't die with it. Seriously. Oh, there we go. I get it. No, I'm in my early 20s. I'm just in my very late early 20s. You know what I mean? This is biscuit. This is biscuit right now. What's this crap? Oh my god, you spread it to me! Oh my god. Started playing well the second you became cognizant. Yeah, I mean, can't you tell by the gameplay? This is some peak hunter gameplay here, okay? I feel like my. Mm, hang on, I feel like my voice is a little bit too loud. I took away that smidge I, I gave you guys earlier. We're now smidgeless. You guys want to see some Elden Ring later? I'm quite excited for it. I've been, wanting, I've been in a big Elden Ring mood recently. But I've been too busy having a life. You know what I mean? I'll kill the goon. Kill the goon. You will eat the bugs. Oh, wait, how do you spawn? We killed him. That's some bull crap. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kill every single boss in Elden Ring as a naked wretch. Get off me! Okay, you mark my words. We already did the tree sentinel and like four other bosses. I check out Bad Season Show. How dare you doubt my skill? Look at Bad Season Show on YouTube, okay? And then look up look at my wretch challenge videos. All right, I am not a stranger to being naked while playing video games. I have proof of my amazing skill uploaded to YouTube. We're totally gonna do it. Healing Mace and the Acidic Caster Walk Wader Boots. We should grab that for our arcane shots, honestly. I've seen three, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's three, at least. Getting to a point where I start to wonder how I can weave WoW into my obituary. I already did. I'm gonna say like something about yeah, told you so that, about okay. the the WoW token in classic. I was gonna say what it drops again. <laughs> I'm I'm already. Oh, I got the epic then you guys will at that point finally know my identity. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You'll be walking a graveyard and you'll say, Isabel, you'll say on the uh, headstone called the WoW token released in twenty. Wait, wasn't it the tiger? Twenty three in Wrath Classic no in World of Warcraft. No way, or was it twenty twenty four at that point? No, it's 2023. You'd be like, oh my god, this is him. But it'll be too late. There'll be no face reveal. Because I will be Bones. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, that's what it'll be. I'll, we'll just make my grave marker a big stone wow token. It may have been the mage. Yep. Reads didn't have enough time to play video games. 
So like, Mark in the other Well, actually, I just realized. Oh no. I didn't slip in a uh, I told you so um, in that Diablo was he a video. Dwarf? I might be thinking of somebody else. I said I was going to I was going to put in a and I told you so for every video from now until the end of time. I guess I forgot. Shoot. Oh, I, I'm definitely thinking yeah, of somebody else. Yeah, better than the other. Yeah, wrong. How many articles of clothing yeah, exactly. are you gaming with currently? A bit too Negative nice one. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Oh, they got it. Okay. I thought we aggroed it down there or something. That would have been a big problem. People born when this game released well, by a beer the, next did year. You see the one room is like yeah, 21, right? Yeah. Rent, Damn, we're old. Uh, that can only happen once every mm -hmm. seven seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to not hum the Iron Forge theme, okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to ruin the song, but it's just not possible. Look this volley action. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I love how my guy do doesn't do shoot because it's a bug that they haven't fixed yet because they're small indie game dev. I'm, I'm gonna get a drink after this boss. Let's not get knocked down. How uh, how are you guys liking that video? Anybody watch my Diablo video here? Yeah, yeah I just posted it today. Hope you enjoy it. It's 40 minutes of the monotone madness. Premiere of a new series. It has everything to do with social media. Saving it for bed bed. Good call. That guy. I'm sure that one will serenade you to sleep. That's what my longer videos tend to do. No joke, I've actually had people say, like, they throw on my longer videos when when they're trying to go to bed. <laughs> Which I like, by the way. I think that's cool. I'm glad that uh, they can do that for people. We, we need more relaxation in this world, as far as I'm concerned. Hey, Fiber Guy. Thank you for the tier one for six months, dude. Much earlier in the week. Oh, we, we're talking to a Chad YouTube member slash Patreon subscriber. Hell yeah, Tim Allen. Thank you, man. And hopefully, you guys learned a little bit about the uh, history of Diablo ARPGs. Shoutouts to Angband. Always good to learn our history. Come quite a long cursed. way from being a little at symbol. Attacking letters of the alphabet. <laughs> so awesome. There's just something about that that tickles me. It's the electronic version of playing with your alphabet soup, I said, I think. So good. Oh, I have Growl on. Whoops. Oh, I just realized I have Growl on. We haven't seen a single Growl on there yet. We saw oh, yeah, I've been we terrorizing my group. Oh, last week. Oh, oh it, nice was, tabard, like, Geo. Oh, my God. It was last lockout. Looking, looking sharp right there. Ex Jean I don't remember that happening. The Pally. Good taste. Hey, T Crash, thank yeah, you, man, for the prize. Make those fall asleep to compilations. I could, um. I could, like, compile a lot of my older videos together. I don't know, that might, uh. I wonder how that would go over with the YouTube audience. Uh, I'm calling it now. It's Polearm and Gyromatics. Maybe Watch. do, like, all of. All of, like, infamous famous uh, players in one video. Well, I'm not going to lie, I completely forgot he did the shockwave. I just had the most good panic attack once it actually clicked. And I'm well like, could. wait, where is he facing? Where is he facing? Oh, God. <laughs> It'd be like a three-hour video, probably. 
I think I, I made like five episodes of that. In fact, maybe, um, I was wondering if maybe I could actually do a follow-up to that, since I'm kind of making some wild content here and there again, right? Maybe make, a um, part six or whatever part I'm on. Maybe. I hope we're doing decent damage. Oh, fuck! <laughs> no! Oh my god! I'm just gonna you, but. Oh, I didn't, uh. I didn't unchrono boom, too. What is wrong with me? I'm griefing right now. I even, like. Sorry, guys, I'm rusty. I only know how to fish in this game. <laughs> the Vibrable. I bet you this is good for melee hunters. I'm not a melee hunter, though, so screw that crap. The healing the book. Okay, if I need on that in case I ever actually get a dagger. Uh, yeah, uh, no gonna ASMR complaining about microtransactions in the rain to help you sleep. Oh my god. What if I compile all of my videos complaining about microtransactions and put like rain sound effects behind them? <laughs> that would be like a four day video. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. I might steal that Joe Haman. Well, maybe that'll be the April Fool's joke for this year. That's coming up, right? Oh my god. Yes, that, okay. Spoiler alert. Okay, I might not do this, but I'm kind of excited to end the moment. Spoiler alert, but we're gonna do April Fool's video. It's gonna be ASMR, complaining about microtransactions in the rain to help you sleep compilation. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, if we aren't all parsing pink, I don't want to I currently, okay. um, I'm be, I'm I currently have no plans for April Fool's videos. I, yeah, it totally oh, snuck up on me. I, I would just not parsing. Did I say pink? I meant the last pink. couple of years. <laughs> I'm colorblind. Yeah, I might do that. <laughs> Look, oh, it says go, 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 I think you'd skip this pack, right? Yeah, I'm fucking. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm Metal Gear Gabo up in this bitch, okay? You can't fucking touch me. I'm solid gob. Ain't no snakes in this bitch. I said I was gonna get a drink. Hang on. There, one second. One sec. There's no, like, patrols in the aggro, right? Here. One moment, yeah. Guys. The combination of the stinky set plus uh, crowd pummeler pummeling you with his thick, juicy claws is not the best combination. Yeah, I no, I've been, I've been, I was hit uh, with it last time. It's just that, like, if I if I'm doing the rotation, like right after the shock, I need to get healed up because I'll do the discombobulate, or like right after the shock or discombobulate, I need to get healed because I only have like after he shocks me, I only have like fucking two hundred health or something. Right, so we'll have, we'll have you. Oh, oh, that's 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 I got this, guys. It? Don't worry. Yeah, you know, uh, you so we want to do the oh. strat of. We want to do the strat of three movers instead of just one? Yeah, two moves. We could try the one, but we never did the last one. Arm bot. Where's uh, Stinky Boy at? This has totally changed the strat like a week before phase three. Oh, everything out the window. Also, that's the other thing that I don't like is like when when part two was announced, we had like fucking half a month before that shit actually came out. 
Yeah, like, yeah, they probably just saw like a huge number of people yeah. just leave. Yeah. Well, because especially also like that was the thing. Like literally, the moment people knew it wasn't going to be a month. Like how many people just then, literally like, said, "Okay, I'll see you on Facebook." Like, yeah. oh, okay, All right. Oh shit. What happens now? What? What what happens now? Oh, we're good. Okay. You guys nobody saw that, okay? That was oh. me, sorry, I was AFK, I'm coming. Oh, yes, I was just trying to heal and I didn't know where it was. <laughs> no, this is, uh, <laughs> this is the, uh, this is a guild run. No, no, the, you gotta remember. These are the Crusade boys. That's so unhappy. Let me feed him a... Uh, make him happy, kitty. Okay, electrocutioner. Um, I wonder how we're handling this. I feel like we've handled this a, a few different times. A few different strats you could do for this. Gabo, you're gonna be on the right side. Come over here. And then we'll have, uh, just, yeah, there you go. And, you know, if you're melee, stand over here if you get the AoE. And then I'll call out the people moving. But we're gonna start out with the Lihu out first so that the left side gets hit. And we'll just wait for him to come around and we'll get going. Yeah, anytime, man. <laughs> I'm gonna use it to. Wipe up my tears when I okay, get, I have to keep an eye out if, if my name gets called. This guy. <laughs> Here. If you guys Pay attention. smell burnt no nipples, you know who it's coming Okay, from. no growl. Smell like that now. Not griefing my team anymore. I can't believe these winter squids are already so expensive. They're already one gold, 60 silver on my server. Which is crazy. I'm going to wait till next phase for sure, though, because I think the gold is going to inflate way more. Okay. It'll be like five gold each next phase. The, that is one thing I will say is uh, with yeah, Sod. Sure, I know your range. Just, yeah, just make sure you're not further back than we have. Uh, okay. Right. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll run all the way back to this corner. So can... Yeah, like that justice! <laughs> I'm gonna take this. Yeah, like justice! I'm gonna go melee for now. Cause I got the debuff, so I don't wanna I don't wanna get zapped again, right? Okay. Just gotta make sure I don't take that twice. Oh shit. Ah okay, closer than Lihu. Alright. I just need to be closer than the Gabo. Why am I not shooting? Oh, damn it! I have my fishing on my auto shot. Ah, poop. Okay. Where's my auto shoot? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm still in fishing mode. That's amazing. I'm number one in damage, you guys. Don't even worry about it. I do have my damage meters up. They're just invisible to you. I got a one-hander mace. 
chest pieces the last Oh, the needle. Oh, wow, the needle. Look at that. Oh, nice. Oh, we've seen that before. We have the World Warper, too. To this guy is loaded with loot. Oh my god, the fucking World Warper. Oh my god. Uh, the chest we have, you right? You? Are you ever gonna, like, do tank shit? Uh, I have. Yes, I have is that, any, so... Is anyone else gonna roll for it? I don't know. Maybe in case I start tanking. Radiated trousers. This guy had, like, a million items. Okay, are we are yeah, we needing the world warper? The warper. No one else needs it. Okay, we're we're needing the warper. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, at this point, I think people are doing off spec. We got it. I didn't get it. Needs their first one, just speak up. Grats, Talbuk. Uh, well, yeah, probably. Yet, but I uh, was rolling on those irradiated, which I. Did. Please, Taldak, uh, give it to me! It please! Okay, yeah, just, yeah, just please! Really That's on Plunderstorm. I haven't played it yet, knocked off, but I hear people are liking it. People in my chat have said that. They uh, they thought it was pretty fun. Wait, who um, But I'm just uh, I just haven't been into retail for for a long time, so it's not really something that interests me, I guess. Because I'm a total classic Andy. But I hear it's pretty good. If I were to ever play retail again, I would check it out, but... I'm not sure if that'll... Uh, if that's gonna happen. Because I, I started playing hardcore again. I don't think I'd want to do Son, hardcore, and retail. It's too much MMO for me. No. Oh, he did? Oh, excuse me. I'm so tempted to press it right now. I didn't even hear you thank I did. I said thank you, and then I blew him a kiss. <laughs> Little gnome kiss. Little gnome kiss. I was gonna use it with this song. I'm so, yeah. Not the alarm bot behind it. Yeah, we're gonna open up the alarm box. I don't wanna... Oh, we can't open up the alarm box. Why, at least I have my escape pocket if shit goes up. Do you do it in combat? Maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Wait, is there a cast time on it? There has to be a cast time. It says use. Have, uh... So I imagine in that video, that phase 3 video, they talk about the new ruins, right? It should just be like a PvP thing, just like... I'm sure that they've been data mining a bunch of crap too. I probably won't look at the data mines though, we'll just we'll just stick with the video I don't know. Save it as a surprise. I mean, I will look up guides probably once phase 3 hits. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna look for the runes myself. Because they're, they're so hidden. You kind of have to look it up, I feel. That's how it goes. That's life. They preview two of each class. Oh, that's what they did for this phase. Okay, that makes sense. This is this warper. Yeah, we will stain. Why I've been running. Um, after this nomer, we'll probably do that. In fact. From. No, that's not what I said. Because I still need to get gear for this dude. So April fourth. Wow. What do you guys so think about that? Piece. I don't think I've gotten the neck on any of my dudes. For me, that's kind of fast because I'm, um, I'm a total casual normie. Actually, and I haven't I been have able to play that much, but oh, yeah. uh, it's probably pretty like good in worry, general for the average player, maybe. I think they got it. I'm sure a lot of people have been kind of. They've been ready I'm for the next that. phase, right? Me, I've been um. I still like to do my crafting stuff, but yeah, like I said, I'm kind of a. Kind of a special case, you, I you suppose. Did you know about that, Gabo? Nope. Wait, I got this ring already. I just ran. I just ran to the teleport every time she got. Can you get multiple of those? Yeah, I tried let's, doing it, and I get let's get rid of one of these. <laughs> I bet you it's gonna say you've completed that quest. Yes. There must okay. always be one sacrifice to the lepers. How uh how fast was this compared to? It's like the Walking Dead. Um. Is about reaching her arm out compared to fa the time gap between phase one and phase Radiant two. Zombies. Oh man, yo, that show's still going. I feel like it's faster than That's the time gap between phase one and phase two. It's, well, it's, it's like it's spin off, but maybe now, that right makes now. sense because that was like a launch, right? 
Phase one was, of course, a launch, so maybe some extra time for people to make alts and stuff. At, at the end of what I'm saying is, at the end of phase one, maybe more people were decided on, all right, yeah, for sure, I want to play this class, so therefore less alt making, therefore quicker phase. Is that the first episode? Maybe that's what they're thinking. I that fucking hurt. Okay, that's like my own cast multiple phase. Phase one was 70 days. Yeah. I believe this will be 55. Oh. Yeah, definitely faster. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so ridiculous. I'm kind of looking forward to it because I'm, I've always been so behind on this no, phase. This is a big good chance to catch up. Wow, we we're blowing through this raid. If the zombie apocalypse ever happens, I'm I'm literally just playing video games. This mm, 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 mm. has not been well loved by the community, really. Hold on. Let me. Um, I think it's all right. Let me change to meta. Oh, also, <laughs> I haven't had a problem. <laughs> like with two, two days. <laughs> <laughs> I've played Project Z or Project Zomboid. Okay, but, yeah, like I, I said, I've been playing it really casually. There's, so uh, there's a weak R here to track the health. I, I they like put the robot. I'll probably just go on the sheep. To, to say chicken. I usually go r sheep as ranged. Also, yeah, we're just gonna pound the sheep. Oh, does DBM have one? I guess I've never. Maybe it's hidden behind something. Nomer's just a really exhausting raid to have to do every three days. It's pretty big. Biggity. Look at this purple dude. <laughs> you ain't stinky green like me. Yeah, I'm I keep forgetting you usually do dragon, player. right? You do dragon and then chicken squirrel. 3D lockouts killed people's groove. Would you guys prefer yeah, um one week right, so logouts and I remember melee, we're gonna for uh, so we're gonna for Nomer. Uh, Maybe BFD the was a little better because if it was a smaller need, raid. Uh, a fab just open trade with Wallop. I read that as the chicken or the squirt. I got a fab. We're good. <laughs> all right, everyone, all the melee half faps. Really hate Nomer. Really hope ST is better. If you guys find, oh no, if you guys find Nomer exhausting, ST is gonna demolish you. What's the ST lockout? The ST lockout has to be a week. Because if you guys are getting burnt out from Nomer, Sunken Temple is going to destroy you, okay? Every three days. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of like half the reason why I have them. I'm like, well, I'm just keeping it here up. Okay. That is a very large dungeon slash raid. It's seven days, okay. Probably a good call. I feel like a full ST run. <laughs> At least at the beginning might take an hour at the very minimum because remember you have those two wings you have the whole statue part and then you have the whole uh, dragonkin part separately uh, yes there thank you i assume that they wouldn't um they wouldn't like remove mob they'd probably treat it similar to these level upgrades right they keep aside from the bosses they keep the mobs the same they just course buff him up. I think I can like click it out. I think we have to enter combat. Mm, 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 yeah, you should be able to click mm, phase. Uh, here, 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 here. I'm just gonna resummon them. That worked. I'm just gonna make a new one. I'm just gonna make a new one. <laughs> okay. No, uh, I, I threw him. That's what we did like, I opened okay. a portal, I threw him into it, and then I opened another hey, portal man, on the I... other side and pulled him back out. Excited for phase three? Yeah, oh my I don't God. really know too much about, about phase three. Okay. Ziggy, We're gonna react to the this video after game. this. I haven't right, watched it yet. I'm ex I'm excited over the kind of semi-fresh launch. He just digged up. Oh, there he goes. All right. Now you can. All right. What a fucking. I'm going on sheepy sheep. Ziggy. Yeah, we'll watch that after this. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god. I'll share my onions. Oops, I pulled aggro on the dragon coming. Okay, uh, frayed wiring. Frayed wiring, I should get off. Get on this chicken and screw melee. Attack this for now. The dragon is over here. 
Yeah. I'm gonna search back to Sheepy. Oh, Sicky died. What the fuck, dude? Who's taking the dragon? Oh, hey, me. So someone's doing it. Oh, why the fuck is why was Ziggy was generating that? Okay, I'm not, I'm proud of myself. I have to resemble. Where's my aim shot? Oh, okay. I must have switched the mind recently. I do not remember it being. Switch that fucking stamp. Oh. Breath, breath, breath. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll eat it. I can just. Ooh, barely it. dodged that one. Zero debuffs. I, I dodged it, you guys. Okay. So I Sod in the nick of time. Alright, um, range down. Oh, I'm setting five. So yeah, range get on dragon. Ranged on dragon, okay. But I wish it said like Yeah, Oh man, Oh the dragon is frayed wire. Oh shit. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, it's too close to the sheep. That's right, just get on get back on sheep until that's down. So we still have to pump dragons up. Watch over. Breath. Yeah, what he said. Get away right, from yeah, the I'm egg. Gonna the He's gonna over here. He's gonna be taking a shit ton of damage. I'm showing him the meaning of. Pain. I'm showing him. Oh my god, this shit. Alright, healer mana. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh my god, this shape zapped me like five times in a row. Get away from me, dude. Breath. Yeah, breath. Oh, ah. range, range get back on sheep. Way ahead of you. Uh, uh. Watch breath, bro. Wait, did I bring enough ammo? Yeah, we're good. Oh, we have to beat Sekiro too, by the way. I have Elden Ring in my title, but before I do Elden Ring, yeah, we gotta I... Get, we gotta get on I actually oh, want to uh, return to that, yeah. Okay, what's highest? Oh, we got Regan as Fred Oh, I'm. Oh, fuck! I'm dying. Yeah, they're both Fred, dude. Oh no. Oh, it's just. Okay, sheep now. Um, yeah, we're going to, uh, finish up Sekiro. Burn them. Yeah, burn them, burn them. Yeah. All right, Gabo, you got it. There's sheep done, chicken. Don't worry, guys, we got this. A rice, my, chicken. Uh, howl. Here, I'll piss them all off. Get on, squirrel. Nice. Uh, job, Run. Run. Oh, God, the boots. God, oh, oh my god. What? That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm so screwed. He had this beats! Uh, I'm so screwed. Oh, god, I'm here! Damn it. Hold on. Wait. Wait. I guess I went too far. Oh out. god, I have a 30 second cooldown. No! Uh, I do I have I'm these? <laughs> <laughs> I got this. Alright, I'll get these. Uh, uh, which are better here? You said, you said you called in for the dagger. I think the leather ones are better. I'll just screen that. Yeah, that's why I said he's fired. Yes. Oh, the boots hey, I need, I believe. He's a frugal bitch. I'm out of here, guys. I'm warping out. Oh shit, my inventory is full. This guy isn't killing me. And that, that. We got the teleport so we swap back in. I've been still at this. I think I can. I was gonna say I would love for it to like teleport you, like. In a Nexia's layer or something. Yeah, that was a super feigned death. <laughs> yeah, if you guys would just like to open up your world map real quick, you can see what Gabba has transported to. Stag Helm Point. Where the fuck? Sir, so late that I hit 40 yesterday. Big boom, new phase. Yeah. Good timing. I'm gonna go grab this flight point real quick. I'm pretty. I'm yeah. I'm pretty far behind too. I've done. This is probably like my fourth nomer. Pretty, pretty, pretty clutch but for yeah, I haven't been uh, super yeah. active for this phase. Maybe phase <laughs> phase three will be like our chance to get back yeah. into it. Wait, so we should wait. Wait, we're gonna have to summon him. We should. Yeah. So yeah. Wait wait oh wait, fuck. Is this? Oh. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah, we lost our uh, world bus on the transition. Bro, I'm literally running through it right now. <laughs> okay, I think you'll be able to get it in time. 
Oh yeah, god! Don't, don't worry about the level fifty something dudes out there. Just <laughs> well, yeah, wait. Was there a teleporter back here? Charges me. Okay. Or is it in the the <laughs> free zone, the clean zone? No, uh, the raids be useless as each phase releases. Um, you, so. <laughs> the raids will be used as those. They'll, they'll still no, level you up. You You'll get some XP for not? running Nomer no, Gun. Probably the equivalent I'm is uh, BFD. My body and you guys BFD gives like more XP okay. around the 25-ish range. Your, your name is cool, by the way, Life Stream. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. appreciate that name. <laughs> Yeah, hey Final guys. Fantasy I can't 7 do is one of my favorite games. Because of all I'm literally time. I'm literally only doing three damage. Hey Koba, thank <laughs> so you, man. I got a lot you of good feedback about uh, that video today. Thank you, dude. Phase three, right? There we go uh, to Mechatora. Gonna be enough to even come in and just steamroll any joint mechanics of the DMT. There. Uh, let me repair. I didn't realize it actually took a trinket slot. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's this guy. That's right. Yeah, the gear from the raids, too, will last you a little bit. I'm still in a lot of BFD gear, in fact. This is BFD. This is BFD. That's BFD. So. I mean, it seems like most people. Let me elixir up. I'm send gonna nature the prop. Send the summon. Send the summon. Oh my god. Uh, They're everywhere. Uh, send the summon. <laughs> send the summon. There's bugs well, everywhere. Well, we gotta get a new closet. They're in his hair. They're in his hair. We gotta get a new closet. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> There's a process to this. Hope it give us oh, a teleporter to ST, like Horde Gat, since we're so far. I know, right? This is a bull crap. It's literally a fucking dragon. Horde oh favoritism, if I've ever seen it in my life. Rude Rude of no storm That's actually my next WoW video. The top 100 Yo, okay. instances of Horde favoritism. Oh, <laughs> oh your PvP flag. It fucking PvP flag me, bro. Yeah, because you were in contested area. Oh my god, dude. Like, I literally didn't even have a chance to fucking react. Yeah, now I'm getting react. killed. Oh my god, Wait, dude. why are you flagged? Oh, because you can't oh, oh, I won those, uh, I won those male gloves on a green roll. Now let us ask run. Yeah, I'm walking inside now, like... Bro, why do Horde always have to be such cocks, dude? Yeah, after, after we're done with this, we all should just stand outside for like five minutes and just kill every single Horde coming in. <laughs> Wait, did you actually like, Hearth Geo? Uh, I'm in, I'm yeah, in, I saw him hopping, he just disappeared in front of me. Yeah, so I heard him fucking shriek. <laughs> oh my god, it's mine! It like could be your April it. Fools, <laughs> editing <laughs> Windows <laughs> Movie Maker. I'm not sure if I could do Why that. Why did I do that, man? I just accepted like my four fate. days. Okay. I can complain about the Horde a lot. <laughs> Wait, That'd be a like a two hour video. <laughs> Look, I just come out and this guy's got- Oh shit. Never cross a dark iron. Like I literally, when I accepted that summon, when I accepted that summon, I literally didn't even have a chance to like. I loaded in and I was dead. Yeah, so. Do these uh all oh, those? Okay, those have a health bar. All right. Um. Yeah. So we have the skull bash backup interrupt. Um. I hope they don't put me in bombs. Yeah, so tubes, usually you need a taunt to reset the stacks, right? Uh, usually. Um, uh, we can play that by ear. Just try to make sure we got. Oh, um, apparently, I don't know. The other group would pop a uh, pre pop frost protection. I think it just makes yeah. it easier. Yeah, so if you if you want one, you can open trade with me. And then. Um, I'll try to get some buttons, but I hope yeah, they don't do send me to killing bombs. Any kind of, like, whatever will make it easier for the healers. What's on that body? I'm good at bombs, thank you. I just don't like doing them. <laughs> it's too hectic uh, for me. Thank you. It's not very chill gameplay. That's why I played a hunter, so I could just AFK auto shot. Where are people having me do stuff? God. I'm just supposed to AFK auto shoot while collecting all the loot. You need backup okay. interrupt. 
Oh yeah, I'll call out if I if I miss a Pokemon. Um, yeah, Metal Locks are good at that. They they got that the Insta searing oh, pain which happens. pops them right. It's kind of rough as Hunter because one it takes like two yeah, auto shots, sometimes three to kill a bomb. So Chimera one shots a multi. I can do multi and an auto shot kills one, but it's it's kind of rough. That literally doubles his health. I hope that marksmanship hunter is better in the next phase. <laughs> well, actually, no, never mind. I hope it's yeah, bad, so everybody's game. melee, so that way I get all the guns and ranged weaponry. I'm just gonna try these back buttons, I think. It takes a bit to open them up, right? There's one. Huge damage. Alright, I can hit another button here. Oh, he's immune to fire during that phase. Damn it, I just. Seven stacks on that one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This one's surely not, though, right? Does a threat transfer over between phases? I need to worry about that. Seems like a new suit, so probably new threat. Uh, I gotta save for I'm fap, you, right? Was it three stacks you fap, I think? Yeah, dude. If I remember correctly. I'll wait for three stacks. God. And I'll pop my fap. I don't know what's going on. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Tank down. I'm up. It's not letting me click it. Let's just let's burn. No, I don't have to on. Are you in Soli or are you in Destro? I'm in Destro. I was in Destro oh, last time. The last two the times. Future. I need somebody to press this. I can't click the button. Alright, Lam, Lam will tag this from, from here. Just to keep them up. Make, yeah, I'm like 100%. Okay, I'm just gonna nature pack because we didn't need to fail. Sorry, Jazz is up. Just take a take number and press the buttons. And do it. Reload real quick. So we lost a lock, so I might need to yeah. kill bombs. Am I like bugged? Yeah. I can't even click the buttons. You can't click the buttons either? No, there's like nothing. Yeah, reload real click. quick. I, I, I just clicked this one. I, re I, I reloaded and it fixed it, so I can't click this button now. Come on, cool down. Oh yeah, so we got we should start reloading um, before this pull. Bam's down. Is this a, is yeah. green the last one? I hope green's the last one. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh. oh, I think this might be a wipe. Yeah, dude, these the fucking cooldowns fucked us up here. 
Okay, I'll get next click. That's thank yeah. you. Yeah, I'll turn growl on my pet. It's over, right? Oh, uh, my yeah, it's, it's a shot, right? Like, are we gonna be able to do this? I ain't Damn it, there's another one. Ah! Nature pride again. I believe. I believe. Oh, fuck. What oh, you mean? I was fucking doing soul suck on him. I support this charge. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, yep. Oh, my God. His cool and discharge killed me. He got served! Oh, it's over. Yeah. It's over! Yeah, that's what it's over. It's over! It was a good catch. We had a lot of shit fucking us up. You guys got it. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know what happened in that first thing, but like. Wait, what's happening? He's glitched. It, and then for some reason, oh, there he goes. That was weird. He was like mood walking for a second. I don't know if they got like aggro for a second, but I don't know. Like, that's what I don't, yeah, make sure you're not standing in front of him either. Because he cleaves. Yeah, he cleaves. That might have been what what, what it was. I don't yeah, know. We got kind of yeah. With the, with the tanks, eight yeah, seconds. Kind of if I can live for eight seconds, yeah. I can pay death. Um, do you want, oh, Ellie, do you want to uh, press more Let's buttons to get more mana? Uh, yeah, usually I can sustain it well, but I was just pumping up way more. Wait, the buttons get mana? Else. I didn't I even know that. that's just what it was, but I can press more buttons too. Yeah, everyone make sure you slash reload before the next fight. That's a precaution that some groups take to make sure they can press the buttons. Bro, it did the glitch where I'm not inside <laughs> the dungeon or the raid. I'm outside of it. Oh, oh I, that God. just happened to me too. I probably nice. didn't get killed. I know, I'm not peeing. I'm not so peeing. Yeah, what the fuck? This this run has been like cursed. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was it wasn't scuffed. Said reload UI. Cursed. There's a difference. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. No one important died. <laughs> 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 Alright, good. It's going smooth. We just got that stupid thing after Menagerie where he aggro's just kind of. Let's get Lion back on. Yeah, we're gonna I get my kitty cat. This. Yeah, we lost our tank on that oh, one. Oh yeah, he, <laughs> he got the World so Warper. so hard that it knocked him to Selfus. <laughs> <laughs> He has to do his combined levels. three, I see. Up, oh no, he yeah, dude, Too much nonsense for a level upgrade. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't see like, people pugging this one, like, that's for sure. Protest. You'd and probably see like guilds running it for XP, <laughs> but yeah. Let me be clear. It's kind of a tough one to pug for sure. Yeah, you just, shout out. I mean, you need so comms like a lot of for sure for uh, their availability is better both this guy, I'd say the Menagerie and but, Executioner. I mean, anyway, comms are real nice. Maybe if we get an alt raid going, we could do like a weekend raid. You could get in, but it's looking like most people. See that like 45? How much uh, do you guys know off the top of your heads? Like how much XP BFD gave? And the first one like in mid 40s or mid 30s rather, like mid late 30s. Was it uh was it worth it? We'll see how it goes. Hey J Dog, yep, we saw that. We're gonna watch the video after this nomer. Neither am I. I. Yeah, I only ever like went in there to whatever. I always had like a purpose to go in there, and it wasn't to run the whole dungeon. <laughs> BFD almost one level, three fourths of a level. Okay, so yeah. that must scale yeah, because I, I, I feel like I got three fourths of a. We did this at the launch of the phase. We went from um, 
from 25 to oh, we get blasts next phase? Is that, is that like 75 percent through to 26. Oh, Wait, right, okay, so there was something weird going on with rested XP at the end of last phase. Some people had like full rested XP. Uh, I don't know. He's, he's I don't done know. it. And, and I had no rested was, XP. Did did times. we ever figure out why that was happening? Well, let me just what can I do in preparation to make sure that I have 1.5 levels of rested XP from 40 to 41? <laughs> hey, Omanka, thank you, man. Appreciate it. I'm really, uh, I'm really happy with it. So I'm glad I you liked it. A, Thank uh, you. Magic resistance potion, too. I was about to sub, so good for me. Yeah, it seems like uh, stream chat is pretty pretty happy with the timing of phase three. Mm. Whatever rest that when you ding is when it transfers. Oh, ah, so if you really wanted to uh, to maximize it. Would you get like right on the cusp of 40, 39 and 99 percent and then wait 10 days, max out that rest and then like kill a mob or something? wonder how many people will do that though. We be putting off dinging the max level for 10 days. Maybe people might do that so they could say first level 60 or something. So they might do that for, for this next phase. Hey Chuma, thank you man. Give this another go. Wait, no, he's gonna be immune to fire, right? I forget. No, it worked. I wonder what he was immune to last time. Though. Maybe it was my concussive stun or something procced. Sounds like too much hassle. Hey, this is the classic community we're talking about here. <laughs> hassle is like a buff, come on. The more annoying it is, the more motivated people are to do it. Do you want to talk or to keep it? Okay, I can. Oh no, she's gonna do it. So the buttons give mana, I did not know that. So I'll, if I see a healer going for it, I'm gonna let him get it, obviously. I still have four stacks. For have, uh, seconds, so. okay, you guys can spoil this a little bit for me for the phase three video. Have they mentioned anything about yeah. world buffs? Yes. More, well, I'm more interested in the level 60 world buff meta. Is that gonna, <laughs> is that gonna be a thing? Maybe. I've been feeling dry. Note, I had a feeling that one was gonna pop right behind me. But it changed. Uh, I changed. I switched over to Demonic Grace so I can pop it every 20 seconds. I so feel like I should only fap if I hit like five stacks or something. Okay, so he, he's gonna be on cooldown, so I'll get this one. Got it. Yeah, it honestly, seems to be helpful. Yeah, Metalocks are so good at killing those bombs. Kind of jealous. If you have, if you've got your okay. passive, you can pop it. Yeah, I'm just gonna nature pop. I'm a I'm the passive. Yeah. Destroy you all. Sevox, thank you, man, for the prime. Appreciate that. Oh, you can, uh, you can use escape or something. I didn't know that. Oh. That's what I'm doing. That's why I, I don't like faps on this guy. Reno. Anything you fap? Yeah, anything. Okay, they should have that one. Ah, this one's mine. I'm useful. Oh, 
Should I not be in front of him? He might do like a cone or something. Let me, let me not be in front of him. I'm a little scared about that. <laughs> Sense an Anixia breath. Like a slime spray or something. Uh oh, my pet's neutral. Poop. I need someone to press this button on my cooldown. Watch out for the gunk. That shit will fuck you. Oh, damn it, I have Growl on too. More explosions! We gotta have more explosions! I got it. I admire it. To I said it would be like in ZG with uh, trash loot from ZG will trade into consumes that works for SD. Oh, oh okay. Oh, you don't so it won't, that. it won't be a, uh, it won't be a, uh, like a city drop, huh? Interesting. So that means like, what do you? What would you guys think if they were to like? Um, yeah, I swear they both are insane. Dude, it's actually insane. What if they were to do that with like Dragon Slayer, instead of the head drop? Oh, this is gonna get. People are gonna cancel me for saying this. Instead of like doing an an Anixia head in um. In Stormwind, like you loot items from trash in the raid, and you can turn that in for an any head buff or something. Ash takes some changes. I'm not. I don't like world buffs. If you guys haven't figured that out by now. Just eat it. All right, we got those pass legs. We got pass. Hey, the shredder. Wow, that's a that's a lecture main spec for me. Pass. Legs are main spec for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then just do need. Uh, like that's a good PvP item. I'll greet um. it. Need, need, greed. Healing robes. Pass. Need. This is what dropped you guys the uh, the purple mm -hmm. fist. Yeah, yeah, it means like always. Look at that. It's, a, it's only been two months, you know? Uh, what about microtransactions? Okay, what if. Uh, what if, okay, instead of what I just said, what if they add to the cash shop Anixia head buff, ZG, Songflower, you just go to the cash shop? Oh, we can sign up for Sunken Temple. Sure. Or killing the ambassador, sure. Yeah, we need to do that. Just add the world buffs as microtransactions. That'd be awesome. He also has a chance of dropping Yeah, I love that. Oh, it does he? <laughs> then you purge him. <laughs> well, he yes. has the highest chance of dropping And then every time you purge someone, you're like wiping out like a hundred dollars worth of buffs. Oh my god, that's amazing. I'd say so. I mean, it's like nobody, like nobody. Well, Imagine it's the based, rage. It's, like, it's only shadow damage. Just like every button you press, minus 20, minus 20, yeah, minus 20. Just like, it's... Everybody's dual spec there almost. It's only shadow damage, so really it would only be good for like... Uh, no, it, they've, it's something else. Are you coming to Underwood? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's bring up the Underwood. The Underwood. The Underwood man. I love that. Imagine, like, that would be, um, okay, if I were a dev on the WoW team, that would be the April Fool's patch notes. And then he puts Ring of the Underwood in the trade, and they, like, they look over for, like, half a second, and they're like, oh, yeah, checks out. Like, oh, I heard Underwood. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where is this dude? Where is this guy? He's way, he's, this is the well, it's always been a theme park MMO, MMO charge players to enter raids. Hey, there you go. Yeah, you need a ticket. You need a ticket to enter. You must be this tall to enter this instance, so there'll be no gnomes allowed. There he is. Does he still drop the gun? 
Yeah, this guy I used got, to drop a blue gun. I've got that add on that does a little toot whenever a rare spawn like, shows up. Ah, oh, sons of bees. Toot? His mobs yeah. are evading, by the way. Oh, he just dropped salvage. Ah, how boring. He should drop a purple gun. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's nice when you're a hunter because it'll like, uh, it'll also pop up like a little image of the rare Oh, spawn. I think we're done. Like if there's a rare animal oh. nearby. What, which one is that? Is that we good to go? Rare spawner, I think. Rare scanner. Rare scanner? Yeah. It also shows you like where they can spawn, but most of the time. Like where they can uh, I didn't win those boots, right? We won these on a greed roll. Wait, so no one these are claw? these are going to be better for I guess just you're leveling. Druid, druid, druid. Can you use it? Do you want it? Give it a lamb. I'll take it. I can play around with it for the proc. Can that proc while you're in? Yeah. I need to visit the auction house too, honestly. How good is it? I don't know. Druids can fist, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Why, would I, <laughs> why would I when I have the pummeler? Right. I, I don't know. Well, it depends on the group. Yeah, we're right, you're not going to use it, give it to Big then. That's uh, everybody's cup of tea. Who wants to play with it? Uh, for our, like, arcane shots? Uh, yeah. Oh, right. oh, I mean, oh, I thought you were talking about the, uh, the cloth items. Oh, um, no, I'm talking about the cloth. The cloth! You don't want this? Seriously? It's more melee. Well, I mean, everyone, everyone has as a feral. I don't know what I'm yeah. gonna do with it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you might as well bad. mess around with it. Yeah. Sure. I know you're you want to stay ranged, but I, I can maybe tool. do like a hybrid or something. This will be good for like. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You have dual spec coming up too. Oh, yeah. oh right. Oh really? I didn't even hear that. Yep. Yeah, oh Holy shit! Alert. Nice. Spoiler alert. <laughs> They, nobody needed this, I guess. They gave it to me. Is this what being a streamer is like? <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Cool. Uh, maybe we could like do kind of like a hybrid sort of deal. Is this best in slot for like melee hunter? Yeah, I'm getting spoiled. I still got the legendary ones on my original chest here. I stopped playing around then. See, I don't even need to roll for my items, you guys. It is? Wow. I don't even need to roll. This is what happens when you're a streamer, you know? You just, uh... Things just click, you know? Oh, yeah, when you guys get a chance to check out the... I wish the gun dropped, though. Did no one still need this power to play the chest for off spec? I really don't need it if anyone wants to take it. Yeah, I was gonna take it, but Jazz, Jazz it's bad boy. Uh, but I mean, it's near the end of the phase I'm anyway, so. Oh, we should take We're gonna get like leveling guns minutes. and stuff. That'll be better. I mean, it's 59 minutes. <laughs> Excuse me. Guys, do you want to watch that uh, phase three video together? <laughs> Let's react to that phase three video. Let me go ahead and pull up Chrome. Take it easy, yo. That, that was Thanks, guys. Let me go ahead and pull this up. Sod phase three. Got. I'm gonna grab a drink and stuff before we uh, start this. Prep guide. Where's the actual video for Blizzard? Side phase three announcement. Mm, 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 mm. Here we go. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and get a drink and stuff, but we're about to uh, react Hi, to everyone. the video. Hi everyone. I'm no, not yet. No, hi everyone. Okay, let me uh, let me get this up for you guys. Sevox, did I say thank you for the prime? I think I did, but I'm I'm gonna say thank you again just in case I forgot you. 
because my memory is bad. Here we go. Thank you, Savax. Uh, so this is a 25 minute video. We're gonna we're going to uh, react to this in a second. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I get a drink. I have not watched this yet. The Phase Three preview by Blizzard. This is Blizzard's video, and uh, we're gonna watch this and uh, see what happens. Should I leave? I'm not sure why this buffering thing is on right now. I think I'm gonna leave this on while I'm AFK solely to troll people who come in and they'll keep like refreshing the stream and wondering why it's not playing. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, I'll be right back. I will be right back. Give me a couple minutes, you guys. Okay, you guys ready? I hope I didn't scare you. Um, so, this is the phase three preview. Uh, I have not, here, let me mute my in game sounds. I've not watched this yet. This arrived yesterday, I believe. This is going to tell us everything about phase three, and I wanted to watch it with you guys. I've been saving it, so let's see. Hi, everyone. I'm that's, Claystone. That's way too loud, isn't it? Associate Production Director of WoW Classic. Welcome to our Season of Discovery okay? Phase 3 preview. As our team has shared in the past, we have been blown away by the reception to Season of Discovery, and we're so excited to share this sneak peek at what's ahead with you. So with that, let's take a look at what we'll be covering today. Let me today. know if uh, it's we'll too loud or too quiet. We'll with raid information. Then, a preview of rune abilities, followed by our PvP updates, Changes and additions being made to world events. Okay. A look at what's coming to professions. Pretty similar to and the And close it two. out with a very important system update and Ooh. more, which Ooh. you're definitely going to want to stick around for. All right. So just like last time, some disclaimers. We're going to put the build up final. on PTR soon. Stop complaining on Twitter. <laughs> and hardcore realm. But like all the other phases, phase three of season of discovery will not have a PTR for players. Yeah, testing. no PTR. That's standard. Still. There will be some data mining that occurs in advance of the launch. But as we've been saying Here since the beginning of Season of Discovery, not everything data mined will... <laughs> It's so funny they have to say this because everybody complains on Twitter. They're like, all right, you little shits. Don't complain. This is not final. <laughs> actually be in the phase or future phases. So speculators beware. Too good. That's and too funny. And conversely... There's more to discover in this upcoming phase and beyond than we're going to talk about ahead of time. And we want your feedback. 
everything we do across Classic continues to be a journey that is co-written by you, the players. I feel. I mean, I feel like they have been listening uh, to the player base quite a bit with Sod. So I, I think sometimes a little bit too much, honestly. I, uh, 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 it's not a huge deal, but I haven't been too much of a fan of like the experience boost. A lot of you guys will disagree with me for that, but... I feel like they've done some pretty anti-vanilla things. It's not enough to get me to quit, and I, I, I understand. You know, it's sad, right? There's, there's, there's a desire to experiment. So, you know, this will be the version of the game to experiment in. But yeah, I haven't. Uh, I guess I haven't been too much of a fan of the experience boost, the gold winter squid. Right now, each winter squid is going for a gold sixty on my server, which is crazy. I feel like it's, it's not going to be hard at all to get a. The level 60 mount training or to ever like have to worry about repairs and uh, i like the 40 man raids i think the 40 man raids are a pretty big part of vanilla's identity because it was bc is when you know they reduced that to 25 right so um yeah i i've I, overall i've liked sod i haven't been a fan of everything but overall i do like it and uh yeah i have more I have more leeway because it's kind of the point to experiment, right? So, yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not as intense about it as I used to be. Hey, Grangan, thank you, man, for the tier one for 15 months. can't wait to hear your thoughts on all of it. All right, so I'm sure it is a total surprise that absolutely <laughs> no one saw coming that the Temple of Atal Hakar, a.k.a. Yeah. Sunken Temple, will be our new this is... and first 20-player... I, I, uh, a lot of people don't like ST. I love ST. ST is the most Indiana Jones dungeon out of any WoW dungeon. I ran this a ton back in vanilla with my friends. We did a lot of ST. We did a lot of ST. We did a lot of ZF, Maradin, everything in that 40 to 50 range we did a lot of. And we were like the sunken temple masters by the end of it. I, I think, uh, what was the statue orders? Like Northeast southwest they're opposites i think it's northeast southwest northwest southeast the north and south or something here level up raid this raid is jam-packed with eight bosses tons of new items including new item sets new and revamped epic drops and up leveled and rebalanced i'll also say sorry i'm pausing like crazy i think they've done a very good since i just made a criticism i want to follow it up with a compliment they, i think they've done a very good job with the itemization in sod you have like these weird items. Some of them are really poo poo, like um, the gusting wind from Phase One BFA off of Akumai. You can never ha you can have good items without bad items, right? You need to have the vendor strikes in the game. So, it's just speaking broadly here on itemization, I think that they've done a a really good job with the itemization. It's very vanilla like the itemization in Sod, in my opinion. Quest rewards. This is also when the level 50 class quests come online, which will provide a wide array of powerful items for each class. Jumping into a quick preview of a few of the bosses, the first boss in this raid is Atel Arion, a yeah, massive berserker, berserker troll. troll that acts as a bit of a janitor, cleaning up- They should up put a uh, Guzu's corpse <laughs> at the bottom here. They should put a little, uh, was Guzu playing a female orc? On that death clip in hardcore mode where he got punted into the uh, the hole. They should put like a female orc corpse there. Or potentially eating any person or thing amazing. that happens to fall down from the atrium above. If the fall doesn't kill you, this guy definitely will. Next up, we have a brand new boss. Oh, is it male orc? Gotcha. Slime. This engorged yeah, put a male gelatinous orc monster there. inexorably patrols one of the outer Wait, this rings is new, of the sunken temple. Right? Consuming any bus? wandering adventurers hapless enough to cross its path. That's a new bus, A bit I think. further into the raid, we have Jamal An and Ogam, a priest and an undead avenger, utterly dedicated to seeing the blood god Hakar return to the mortal world. These two will keep you on your toes this guy was a bee and have back a few tricks up their sleeve the mind control. to keep the fight interesting each time you encounter them. The last okay. boss in this preview is the mighty green dragon, Aranicus. Aranicus has been having a bit of a bad dream for the past few decades, and that dream is manifesting in our yeah, he world woke up in, BFA. in a variety of ways, which Nor will talk Luckily, about. Luckily, it was just a, a nightmare, though. For those that make it to his lair, we can't recommend waking this big beast up, but if you do and are able to prevail, a lot of sweet loot will no doubt await you. Speaking of loot, here's a quick look at some of the awesome rewards you'll find inside the Sunken Temple. 
First okay. up, we have a new take on the Drake Stone item. Increases with- shadow damage, arcane. Oh, this is an offhand. Why does it say rare there in the item description? It's clearly rare due to the color of the text. This is strange. The new shadow arcane spell damage variant. Next up is a rather unique weapon. Yes, it's an axe gun. Shamans and paladins have felt left out for quite some time when it comes to having ranged weapons. <laughs> and short of Egan's blaster, there's not much for them. Now, you too. You didn't, have- you didn't mention the candles from Elwyn, you casual. What a casual gamer. You got, you got to get the... This is peak vanilla gameplay. You're playing a retribution paladin in vanilla World of Warcraft for some reason. You're looking for a ranged attack. Get your ass to Elwyn Forest and farm those kobolds. <laughs> have a gun that you can swing like an axe or shoot like a gun with a cooldown, hey, what's of up, course. Cutie it's unfortunately a bit slow on the reload. Last oh, is that an accessibility? Oh, okay, territory. yeah, for co- of course, for colorblind people. I gotcha. Similar to AQ-40, we'll Makes have sense. two different tokens with several classes on each. Ooh. We really like the token system in Nomergon, but it sometimes felt a bit bad to be rolling against the entire raid whenever one dropped. So now we'll have two they different have tokens, a streamer and token. multiple will drop on each okay. boss that can drop set tokens. They need to have this token a for streamers. Here's a quick look at some of the epic rewards. First off, we've got a glow up for the classic Embrace of the Serpent. If we're, if we're not, if we better see, okay. I'm still salty from the PvP event. Hunter's got a melee weapon as their purple. We better see like five purple guns, okay? Robe for healers. We've also updated the sword Dragon's Call. One cool Ooh, thing about I this weapon this. is that we've added several brand new glow effects for weapons in this patch. Oh, cool. And this is the the very, very, very rare purple sword. It dropped from Aranicus, Dragon's Call. This I remember a lot of people farming it back in the day. One of the first items to take advantage of having I think it has a very a unique fancy, look. Yep. but still quite classic, new glow. That's, and yeah, just that's like new. In previous it raids, wasn't that glowy. We've got several fun items lined up as well. The first item is the Atalai Blood Ceremony, which allows you and a friend yeah. or frenemy to play a deadly game where only one survives. This Ooh, item shit. is great for when you need to decide something, and a coin flip just <laughs> won't cut it. The unorthodox hex stick allows you to embrace your inner critter and transform into a disgusting little creepy crawler to dazzle and disgust your friends. These are just a few examples, hmm. and there are several cool things coming with this patch. We've intentionally left the best ones for you to discover yourself. Lastly, one bit of feedback we took to heart this patch was that a lot of updated quest rewards for previous level up raids could feel a bit underwhelming. So for Sunken Temple, hmm. we've actually gone a step further and helped rebalance and restat many of the existing Yeah, the number ones weren't very good. The first example here is a Vanguard Helm. And you can see we've made it a bit more attractive to the classes that can use it. And That's, uh, is well. this that white, el- the white mummy el- helmet that you get from that, um, that Hakkar quest that everybody has? Helmet that, yeah, these are, yeah, yeah, yeah. And while not a quest reward, we have also carried forward some of the work we did updating dungeon drops in the previous phase and revamped even more dungeon drop rewards, including Princess Theradris's Scepter. And Ooh. with that... I'll turn it over to Matt to give us a preview of runes and just some of okay. the new abilities you'll get access to. Hey folks, I'm Matt Everett, Senior Engineer cool. on the Classic Team. I'll go over some of the new runes you might find in Phase 3. Before that, I want to note that we heard your feedback that a lot of runes last phase weren't accessible until level 40. We've tried to balance Phase 3, so you'll I, find more I runes I still don't level. have all the runes from this phase. I think I have all the good ones. Um... But yeah, that's how far behind I am in phase two. I don't even have all the runes. But you'll still have some to look forward to at 50. Let's look at druids first. Predictions gore. on runes before seeing. Uh, I think there's going to be gore for druid. Ah, shoot. Ah, oh, darn it. Well, I got. I guessed it, at least. I'm one of one. Uh, do we have bladestorm for warriors? I feel like if blade warriors had bladestorm, I would know about that by now. So probably not bladestorm. Hunter... Probably another aspect, maybe like aspect of the dragon hawk or something. Uh, honestly, like I'm not really wanting for hunter right now. I feel like I feel like hunters, like as soon as we had aspect of the viper in last phase and we had uh, our mana issues addressed, I don't really like desire anything for hunter. 
I wish Steady Shot didn't suck ass. What was, uh, there was a cataclysm, I think it was Aspect of the Fox, that allowed you to Steady Shot while moving. That'd be pretty cool. But you'd have to use that in conjunction with Steady Shot. But maybe like an, a rune that makes it so you can multi-shot and steady shot while moving. I don't know. That might, that might be OP. Or gives you a chance to reset some key feral cooldowns and generate some rage. And improved bark skin gives you all so the I'm gonna, bark skin. With I'm pretty much... Uh, phase one, I was very alt-oriented. But this phase, since I've, I've had limited time to play, I'm, I'm pretty much a hunter main at this point. So I'll be more interested in the hunter ones. But a better bark skin... Oh, it can be cast on allies. Without the drawbacks, and you can cast it on your friends. Next up wow. are hunters. With lock and load, your traps grant Ooh. you a free shot with no... Oh, my God. Uh, I loved lock and load. I played, um, I played survival hunter in both Wrath and Cataclysm. Lock and load was... It, uh, it procked off of trapping people, and it gave you... You could, like, spam explosive shot. Well, you didn't want to spam it because you'd override it, but you, you get like a bunch of free explosive shots, and it was amazing. So this is, each time you trigger one of your traps, your next shot within 20 seconds has no mana and does not occur at cooldown. Oh my god, so you can like... You can double... You can double Chimera shot. Whoa. So you can... Hang on, hang on. So... You can trap someone, scatter trap... Then you can aimed shot into, um, you can aimed shot into bomb. Then they'll still be trapped. You can retrap. Then you can aimed shot into serpent sting into. I wonder if this stacks. Then you could use three chimera if it stacks. Otherwise, you'd have to weave in a chimera there. Oh my god! I'm already thinking of the wombo combo. That's amazing. Yeah. I wonder if this, this stacks if you if you don't consume it or if be it refreshes. It's a great one two punch with something like double chimera shot. Focus fire lets your pet yeah. build up frenzy, which increases its attack speed. You can activate it. it consumes all applications of frenzy, increasing your ranged attack speed. Oh, and, th and these are new too. This is helmet and bracers. I just saw that, so we won't have to override anything. Grain four, focus to your pet for each application, frenzy consumed. Your pet gains frenzy each time it uses basic attack. Oh, that's a passive part. Oh my god. That is Consume amazing. Your pet's frenzy, boosting your attack speed and granting your pet focus. Next up are mages. Oh, will your aim shot? Oh, your aimed shot will do it. Yeah. So yeah, you could um so scatter trap, right? Aimed shot into bomb into aimed shot into Serpent Chimera, or maybe you could just do two Serpent into Chimera Chimera would be better. Boosting your attack speed and granting your pet focus. Good Next lord. Next up are mages. Deep Freeze is a powerful fire Oh no, come on. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping they wouldn't do this one. Damn it. Well, I mean, to be fair, I believe Frost Mage has been really, really bad okay. so far. If the target's immune to stuns, it takes significant damage instead. Oh, God. Balefire Bolt lets you live on the edge of risk and reward, dealing heavy damage but decreasing your spirit. If you reach zero... So this is a healer one. Dealing Spellfire damage. <laughs> wow, actually. Well, maybe not. This is... This is kind of interesting. It's like a different take on um, Arcane Blast. We'll say you, it's, it's more damage for less mana, but less mana regen, essentially. So you can get zero spirit, zero mana regen, but 100% damage. Zero is a constant, you'll immediately spirit die. Oh, wow. Die. And by the way, if you're leveling a new mage, you might find this rune earlier than you expect. Paladins. Improved hmm. Sanctuary okay. makes you even tankier, increasing Sanctuary's damage. Interesting. So if you're making new alt, they're making it a little bit more alt-friendly by giving you runes before... The phase content, it block seems. And damage dealt back to attackers. Wrath lets you crit with consecration. Wait, increase the damage prevented by your sanctuary. Oh, this is actually good for... Uh, I wanted to do the Hobbs way of pulling. This is amazing, actually, for Prot Pally AoE. I like this one. Ooh, I kind of want to level my Pally. And Wrath. 
Consecration damage to me. And applies your melee crit chance to your holy shock, holy wrath, oh my and God. exorcism spells. That's, That's like going to be crazy. Pain and suffering so it's like double allows crit. your mind flay ability to refresh the duration of shadow word pain. While surge of light... Mind flay refreshes... Light ...causes your crits to make your next smite or flash heal instant cast. Rogues. Interesting. Honor among thieves is incredibly powerful. Grand That's a good PvP or maybe like shadow hybrid healing. Maybe they're trying to make Shadow Priest kind of similar to uh, the Balanced Druid, Resto Druid, kind of DPS hybrid heal. You a combo point each time a party member scores a crit. I remember that one. It does have a short cooldown, but you'll be swimming in combo points with this rune. Yeah, Smite Priest support, Cut to yeah. the chase makes it easier to keep Slice and Dice up by allowing Eviscerate and Envenom to refresh it back to its max duration. Wow. Next up, That's crazy. Oh my god. When you deal melee oh, damage... Oh god, okay. Please. What what are we going to see here? Chain lightning hits five times. No cooldown on elemental mastery. What do we got? Mental dexterity applies your intellect to your attack power and then applies 30% of your attack power to your spells. Okay, that's not too bad. Because that's... That's that's not... I don't think that's too bad. That doesn't sound too... Riptide OP. is a... Fa oh, it's a heal. Okay. Hopefully this is all that they get. Shaman should only get two runes next and phase. And favorite that instantly heals the target for an initial amount and then heals for a similar amount over time. When you chain heal a target with Riptide active, it gets Is mental dexterity good? So attack power by 100% so, and your spell damage and healing by 30% of your attack. I don't know how much attack power that shamans have at level 60 if you're elemental though. Is it good? Damn it. Warlocks. Pandemic makes damage over time spells even more overwhelming by letting them crit. With this, uh, Warlocks got totally screwed last phase with with runes. I feel, I feel like they didn't really get any interesting runes. So the pandemic periodic damage for corruption. Oh wow, this this is amazing. I'm not sure when they originally added this to the game, but this is amazing for Affliction. This room, wow. you can summon the iconic Fell Guards to supplement your stable of demon pets. Oh, wow. The Fell Guard is a powerful a melee damage dealer here. capable of both tanking That's, and These healing. are really good, though. They, yeah. If Warlocks got screwed last phase, this is, this is already looking pretty good. I like Affliction Warlock, so I kind of, I like seeing Pandemic here. I, uh, I won't be playing Warlock, but... These are... I'd be happy if I was a warlock main. I'll tell you that much. ...out serious punishment. He's not the only new demon you can summon this phase, but I'll let you discover Ooh. that on your own. Warriors. Ooh. With taste for blood, your rend damage lets you use overpower once per six seconds. Oh, wow. Sword we were talking about this. I, I, I said this before. I said I really liked Wrath Warrior. I think this was Wrath Warrior. Taste for blood. Your rend ticks give you overpower. Yeah, that's awesome. And sword and board, devastate revenge have a board gives your devastate and revenge a chance to reset okay, shield stance cooldown and make it cost no rage. I don't care about this prod. Mad season doesn't tank ever. Okay. I'm warriors get a bonus <laughs> rune, the much requested gladiator stance. Oh wow! Warriors get three. Wow. The gladiator stance. This was data mined. This was this came. If you guys don't know the deal with the gladiator stance here, this was uh, this was a OP stance in short lived in uh, Warlords of Draenor. Warriors had this for a little bit in Warlords of Draenor, and they were like unkillable in PvP. They removed it from the game because it was so OP. Um, so we'll see how OP it is in Season of Discovery. But it's, yeah, people have been pretty excited for this because they data mined it a while ago. Damn, Warrior looks cool too. Live that sword and shield glass. No Bladestorm though. If, it, if I saw Bladestorm there, I might switch Warrior. Fantasy. This increases your damage when wearing a shield, as well as letting you use abilities from other stances yep. at the cost of survivability. This is one we've really been looking forward to bringing to the season. I don't. We can't I, I don't remember if this is the WAD version or not, though. Because I, uh, I, I did level a warrior to a hundred in Draenor, but I didn't really play him too much. So warriors are able to do with it. But I mean, this seems good. Increases damage, wearing a shield by ten percent, and you're you're throwing out like shield slams and shit. Combining that with this over here, sword and board. Oh my god. Use all of other abilities. So you can intercept, you can charge, you can disarm, you can 
You can use everything in whatever stance you want. I love watching players work together to find all the new runes each phase, and I'm looking forward to this one. Up next, Nora will join us to talk about PvP updates. Hey, thanks, Matt. That's crazy. My name's Nora Valletta, and I'm a lead software engineer on WoW Classic. I'm here to talk about some of the other updates we've got coming in Phase 3, starting with PvP. Yeah, like Pummel and Shield Bash. One of the things we've learned from previous phases is that PvP you can, never can cast be a bit warriors. rough when the only thing available is PvE gear that is generally set up with output stats rather than survivability stats. As a result, we're going to be introducing a brand new level 50 PvP set that requires ranks 5 through 7 to equip and earn. Ooh. This is similar to the rank 10 and rank 13 PvP sets in that it's a right. full six piece set with appropriate PvP set bonuses. There will also be a starter set available from a new faction called the Emerald Warden. Interesting. But we'll go into more detail on them. We haven't we have well, we haven't done enough of anything in this phase. We haven't we haven't hardly played phase 2 that much, but uh, one thing we haven't done enough of is PvP. I think I might even still be rank three. And later on, here's a quick look at a few of the new PvP set items. Let's see, plate, where's that intellect? Very similar uh, set bonuses here. They would have um. I want to see what the gloves are. The level sixty gloves gave something like unique for each class, like reduced hamstring cost was the warrior one. I wonder if they do the same. You'll notice that they are this. a bit more specialized and focused than the previous level sixty PvP sets were. And that's each the class will have a variety of sets available to them, such that multiple different specs or roles are covered. Yeah. We're also making what a few about adjustments to the Hunter? Blood Moon event, including adding brand new rewards for level 50. We'll also be adding a new currency for oh. level 50 rewards called Massacre Coins, which you'll earn when killing higher level players in the... Okay, so they're, um, I believe one of the issues, if you want to call it an issue... Uh, hey, what's up, Slotus? Is that uh, with this new phase, people stopped doing the Ashenvale PvP zone? So it looks like they're trying to prevent that for this phase. They're going to scale it up. New level 50 rewards, new currency. The event, Keep it active. We'll be retiring the bloodstained commendations that are currently available from the Bloodcoin vendor. Any existing commendations that you have will still function after the patch, but... Don't I don't know what those are. Where forever. are the bloodstained commendations? They will expire after two weeks. We think it's okay if you're able to bank these now to give you a bit of a leg up on PvP ranking at the start of the next phase, but we don't give you necessarily honor or something? want you to be able to hoard enough coins to get you all the way up to rank 14 later on when that rank becomes available. We'll have a new PvP honor consumable token for level 50 as well, purchasable with the new Yeah, it must be a, an honor and token. how about some gear? Here oh, are a few you, of the new items available via... Corrupted Smashbringer? What the fuck? Uh, there better be a hunter! Yes, okay, Bloodthirst Crossbow. Yeah, okay, I would like it to be a little bit slower, but it's an actual it's an actual ranged weapon. Okay, I'm glad they put that on. That is total bullcrap. Wait, what's this? A throne weapon? Here's the spirit of the target. One to two damage. Immobilizing them? What? This is amazing. You could, uh, you could just switch to this because you can switch weapons in in combat right so you could like uh switch to this in the in the heat of combat and then immobilize root something for five seconds and then switch back to your crossbow that's amazing what the hell the smash bringer yeah the blood moon event in phase three do know that the headhunter's barbed spear is a warrior only weapon oh it's warrior only also realize that ranged hunters may have felt a bit left out last time. Yeah, so you're damn right. Ahead and given them a pretty strong crossbow <laughs> option in this round. You're well, damn right. Three of season of hey, at least they mentioned it. Discovery will soon be upon us, and with it comes new loot, new opportunities to get. Embolizing. Ahead and given them a That's why it's warriors only because they can't even spell embolizing that ranged hunters may have felt a bit left out last time so we've gone ahead and given them a pretty strong crossbow option in this round hey what up sage cat well, handle sg three, thank you man of discovery will soon be upon us and with it comes new loot new opportunities to gain experience and new adventure let's take a quick look at our new pve world event called nightmare incursions picture if you will the four emerald portals scattered across azeroth at this Nightmare point in history, incursions. the dragons of Nightmare, Terrar, Yizondra, Wait, is, is this a, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, did she say this was a PvP event? ...to gain experience and new adventure. 
Let's take a quick look at our new oh, experience. Phase three of Season of Discovery will soon be upon us, and with it, it's just a world new event. New opportunities to gain experience Ooh, and new adventures. Interesting. Let's take a quick look at our new PVE world event called Nightmare Incursions. Picture, interesting. if you will, the four emerald portals scattered across Azeroth. At this point right. in history, the dragons of Nightmare, Terrar, Yzandra, Emerus. This is Le uh, Duskwood, Hinterlands, Feralis. What am I missing? There's a fourth one I'm missing somewhere. Ethan have not Ashara, yet arrived to right? spread their terror. However, as you approach each portal, you can't help but sense hidden danger. Something's not quite right. Those brave enough to enter an emerald portal will be are they plunged gonna... into a realm seeping with corruption and overrun with dragons. Are they actually making the emerald dream? That's funny. Riants and other poor souls driven mad by the corruption. But beware, not all foes are alike. Some enemies can be defeated by a single seasoned adventurer, while oh, Ashen, I said Ashara, didn't I? Yeah, you're right. Ashenville. Nightmare incursions offer. Um, that's interesting. One of the um, one of the hugely popular viral WoW videos back in the day was an exploration related video. You had this undead rogue who was in full uh, uh, pre model update Bloodfang. He he uh, showed himself walking through the emerald. The, uh, those portals, the nightmare portals. And then he, with some video editing, it made it look like he went into the Emerald Dream as like a private server or something. And uh, I remember when that video released, people would like try to emulate that in game. They tried to figure out the secret to zoning in to the nightmare portal to get to the Emerald Dream. He totally trolled everybody. It's kind of interesting that they're they're making content. I wonder if they had that video in mind. I wonder if that video like inspired this at all. Uh, opinion on Ascension WoW. I've not played Ascension WoW. I hear good things about it, but I haven't played it for a couple of reasons. Um, one is that I wouldn't be able to sh share it with you guys because private servers, they're banned on Twitch and YouTube. You're not allowed to show yourself streaming them. Um, and that would just be too much WoW for me. I'm playing, right now I'm uh, trying to do both SOD and Hardcore. So... Yeah, the, it would just be... Uh, I hear good things about it, but it would just be too much WoW for me, personally. Imagine it's a copy of uh, Azeroth with a green tint. Let me look at those slides. Maybe it is. Because it, it just shows, like... Like, is this the Nightmare Incursion that we're looking at right now? Maybe it's just you zone back out and you see, like... It just gives you a buff that changed the world or something. An overrun with Maybe. dragons. Treons... Some enemies can be defeated by, no problem, Pastor. by a single seasoned adventurer, while others are perhaps too powerful to be faced alone. Okay, Nightmare solo or group. Offer repeatable PvE that kind of gives me uh it gives me flashbacks of farming the green shard <laughs> for the scepter quest. Dude, that green shard took forever. I hated that crap. I hated farming for that. You could you could kill those mobs for hours in that crap. Would not effing drop. E content for levels twenty five through fifty. Twenty five to fifty. To check it out. Simply enter one of the four emerald portals located in Duskwood, Ashenvale. And you can level that way. This is actually kind of cool. I bet you uh, this might break up the dungeon meta a little bit, huh? Might get people out of dungeons. Hinterlands or fair. I, I would like to try to. I might like do dungeons here and there for the next phase, but I would, if I can, I would like to level up in the world as much as possible. Uh, maybe we can check out these nightmare areas, do some questing. This is a great new opportunity to earn experience, and those who choose to jump in and fight the corruption will have the chance to earn reputation with an all-new faction called the Emerald Wardens. With great right. danger comes great rewards. The Emerald Wardens will be very grateful for your help and will be offering a selection of choice new items to sweeten the deal. One of the cool things about okay. Nightmare Incursions is that we plan to include some rewards at different it player kind of, levels um, as there will be content available for players roughly level 20 all the way to 50 across... So they've, they've done this, stuff like this in Retail WoW a few times. I remember, uh, so there were, just off the top of my head here, Legion, they had Invasions. I think this was pre-Legion actually, and then they brought them back later on to kind of level people up, get them ready for the expansion and uh, to level them in the Legion content, they'd appear in like Valshara and stuff. 
Uh, BFA did this kind of a similar thing. They had, they had like zones come under invasions. I don't know. Uh, it sounds like it might be the same with these portals. Like some are active at a, at a certain time to get people over there. I made videos about the pre-Legion invasion. You can probably find them on my YouTube channel. Interesting. All four nightmare portals. The first example is this nightmare siphon trinket, which could be really fun for low-level alts. For level 50... Restore 150 health and man when you kill a target that gives experience or honor. Wow, yeah, that's amazing. That's great for leveling. You never have to drink. Have the Roar of the Dream, a somewhat unique ring that has a sizable spell damage proc on it. Lastly, we also plan to take a page from the Burning Crusade playbook and make a level 50 PvP set available at Honored with the new Emerald Warden's faction. Oh. This set isn't... At Is that a... P P in B P PvP in BC, was that a... Did the Cenarian, uh, what are they called, the Cenarian Refuge or something? Did they have a PvP set? I don't remember that. some of the that. other PvP item rewards we plan to add this phase, but it's a good stepping stone into the better items later on. Interesting. With the launch of Phase 3 comes a host of interesting new updates. Okay, here we go. Continue. Please tell me fishing. Okay, I've been, I've been, uh... I'd love the uh, profession updates so far overall, but I feel like the secondary professions like uh, cooking, first aid, and fishing have been kind of neglected. I'm hoping for like a legendary fishing pole quest chain. I've been waiting for it. Let's see if they have anything on for that. The first two phases, we'll be introducing a new quest chain to give players access to new nightmare armaments, crafting recipes, okay. as well as some fun things for engineering, enchanting, and alchemy. We've also learned a few lessons from the previous phase of professions, so the cost to access the recipes will be essentially free in terms of raw gold, and the cost of the recipes that Ziri offers and Nomergon are going to be decreased as well. In oh. case you want to buy additional recipes for... Well, I guess I'm glad that I've been lazy and I haven't done the Nomergon stuff yet, because they're going to reduce them. Completion, or you have an that, that, again, not that I feel like gold is really going to be an issue. ...wants to snag the recipes for themselves. <sighs> We think gold sinks are important and are going to explore different ways later on to yeah. do that that are not so directly on the critical path of gear progression. Here's a quick look at a few of the I would say like higher repair costs, higher flight path costs, respec. Did items you can Although I hear uh, uh, dual specs coming, right? I heard that on Discord, so. Pression updates, shoulder, spell damage for cloth, bah, who cares about that, leather. To the power of the void. Immunity to fear. Wow. That's huge for engineer. That's amazing. I wonder if they have a male version. Uh, leatherworking. And uh, actually kind of similar to the uh, the leatherworking gloves from from uh, BFD, right? This phase. There are many more across various professions and for various specs and roles. As you can see, some cool. of these items offer interesting new on-equip effects, which are applied while you're under the influence of the Nightmare. This is going to be a must for PvP here, these gloves. If you'd prefer to stay Nightmare-free, we've got some cool new items, such as the Void-powered Slayer's Vambraces, which can grant you... Sucking says they made a thousand gold in two days selling those Nomergon, Nomergon crafting mats. Oh my god. ...unity to fear for 15 seconds. We do yeah, I bet you there's a lot of people who have, like, enough for Epic Mount. Phase, ...as well as allow you to level to 300 in each yep. profession. Okay, we expected Additionally, that. Additionally, we've added a few new surprises here. For example, we are adding a quest to allow you to get additional potion, elixir, and flask procs when crafting those types of consumables. You'll also have to do a little hmm. bit of legwork to unlock these things, but the benefits should be well worth it. Specialization the quest. Of our new toys involving professions, specs, so will be page coming after BC level 60, there. and we've have some very cool things planned there to allow you to make the most of your professions. Well, that was a lot of updates. I uh, no secondary professions. Damn it. Somebody get this feedback. I'm not, I, I don't make WoW videos anymore. <laughs> Somebody get this feedback to Blizzard. Secondary professions. Come on, they're so neglected. Let's see a fish, legendary fishing pole. I didn't forget anything. Josh, I'm not forgetting anything, am I? We need the fishings. There is one small system update you might have missed. Oh. First... Hi, I'm Josh Greenfield, senior game producer on WoW Classic. 
So there is one small system change coming, and honestly, the update is so minor. Maybe this is the legendary fishing call. Oh, well, this really is dual care, spec, I bet. Since we're all previewing things, we figured we might as well. So, in 115.2 with phase three, yep. you may happen upon a dashing dwarf from a faraway land that has dual spec. one very special talent that he wants to share with you for a small fee, of course. Actually, to be a little bit more specific, 50 gold. he has two sets of special talents to share. Like I said, we were pretty sure this wouldn't be a big deal to most players. We probably should have just left it out of the presentation entirely. So, <laughs> we're approaching the home stretch, but we've got a tiny bit more to discuss, and we want to take some time to cover a few other miscellaneous topics, commonly asked questions, as well as a... Dual spec. Dual spec's huge in vanilla. That is huge. Uh, you're talking to a ranker here, somebody who's spent... Each time he, he switched to PvP and uh, PvE... I spent fifty gold to respec. Yeah, dual spec is huge. It's been a high. It's been a big request. Um, for people were requesting that back in twenty nineteen vanilla actually, and uh, there's a lot of resistance to it at first, obviously, but over time people have uh, become more receptive to it. I feel like for sod, you know, again the whole point is experimentation and trying new stuff. I I think it's good. I don't have a problem with it. Because Sod is, uh, somebody in chat said it earlier, Sod isn't necessarily vanilla, right? It's, it's, it's vanilla with, um, with sprinkles on top, with like a, a lemon twist. So I'm sure people will be on the fence for that. But for me, since it's Sod, I guess I'm fine with it. And, um, you know, they, we always have, uh, for me, I always have hardcore and uh, era. Although I haven't really been doing much era personally. But that's like vanilla vanilla. So I don't mind dual spec for sod. Could be a slippery slope. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 you could very well be right, but. A quick look at how things will start to shape up. What is he wearing? Oh, epic wow team hoodie. Increases coziness and comfort by 11. Frost resistance, stamina, intellect. Level 60. Eh. So let's jump right into that. So the first topic here is world buffs. As with the previous Ooh, phases, world buffs. we'll continue to allow you to use the previous world buff up, up until, through the current yeah. max level. The new raid, Sunken Temple, will also include a new world buff. So you guys told me about this earlier. We'll also be making some rather powerful... Oh, it does provide a world buff. ...suables available for exchange on okay. a certain NPC using materials found in the Sunken Temple raid. These are spiritually similar to the Zanza elixirs that you could obtain by exchanging items found in Zolgarub. They're quite yeah, I like powerful, this hoodie. so you'll definitely want to bring them with you to the raid when you can. Okay. Also, as with previous phases, we did want to clarify that bankable, repeatable turn-in items will not function yep. to allow you to... <laughs> <laughs> They're telling people this time. This was uh, phase two. People were prepping hardcore for phase two. They're, ho they're hoarding the, um, the honored... Marks of Honor, and apparently other turn is stuff. Looks like they're getting ahead of it this time. Waste Wander, Water Pouches, Troll Necklaces. They're nerfing it, you guys. They're nerfing it. Level quickly from 40 to 50. We really love the preparation aspects of Original WoW, and things like pre-questing are great. But being able to bank hundreds or even thousands of repeatable quest turn-in items to get multiple levels right when the phase begins is not going to be supported in this or any phase going forward. To be clear, Wrecked. this includes things like Marks of Honor, Waste Wander Water Pouches, and the Troll Necklaces from the Hinterlands. One of the big lessons we've learned in Season of Discovery is how tricky it can be to balance the level up journey and the outdoor world. Yeah, they're telling you to cut it out. <laughs> Stop it. It's tricky to manage, especially against a seasonal backdrop where the content phases are relatively short by World of Warcraft standards. Right. To help out with this a bit, we introduced a very powerful Discoverer's Delight XP yeah. buff at the midpoint of phase two. And, then and the, while that was they buffed it to 100, which you could level alts, it didn't really help to reduce the fatigue. I think they should sell it. Your first main character. By way of a compromise in phase three, you will earn 50% additional XP from all sources from levels 40 to 49, and this will be active right when phase three goes live. Wow. This is just to give a slight nudge right away. It will still be a sizable number of hours to hit 50, but this will help move that along without feeling like you're either just flying through zones or conversely so, in danger of running out of quests if questing is your preferred leveling method. I feel like um, this this means that 40 to 50 for this phase will actually be faster than 25 to 40. 
Note that the 100% buff from 1 through 39 will... So actually, hang on, let me read this. ...is your preferred leveling method. Is this a XP buff for everything, or is this questing only, or is this just pure 50%? in danger of running out of quests if questing is your preferred leveling method. Note that the 100% buff from 1 through 39 will remain in place as well. Yeah. Overall, we think that these buffs are a decent solution, but they aren't what we consider to be ideal. We're it's going to everything. carry a lot of what we learned forward if we do something like this again, and maybe look at other adjustments we can make to help smooth the leveling curve in general. Additionally, as with Black Fathom Deeps before, Nomergon will give a sizable amount of XP for each boss. Yeah, but people so won't really run this. Run that with your guild will be a worthwhile activity when it is available to yeah, you. Yeah, notice he said they're running that with your guild. <laughs> So don't pug it. On the same Unless token, you want to get farmed by Electrocutioner. As a good quick way to get a good chunk of XP if you find yourself wanting a change of pace from your normal leveling routine. There's a lot of repeatable content that gives experience there. Okay. As for the raid release and lockout schedule, we've been thinking a lot One about One week this, lockout. Yep, you guys said that too. Sunken Temple to a week Broken lockout, Arrow, thank you, man, and it for will the be available right at the release of Phase 3, kind of similar to what we did with Nomergon in Phase 2. Players will have five full days to hit level 50 if you want to try and get in a raid during that first lockout, and then the raid will work like any other weekly lockout, resetting on Tuesday or your normal regional lockout day. Five days to hit to level 50. That's not an, I'm a normie today. I need, I need a month. Reasons. It, that, it seriously took me like two weeks, more than two weeks to get from 25 to 40. First, we've gotten feedback from players saying they would like to I have a bit two. more consistency with their raid schedule, and with the raid size going up to 20 players in this phase, being able to plan long term is even more important. Yeah. We'll also talk about this a little bit more in the next few slides, th but we're also thinking ahead to what the. I think that the seven day lockout fits. I, I, I mean, I know Vanilla had three day lockouts. You have, uh, of course, Anixia, you got ZG, you got AQ20. But especially if they're doing 20 man, I feel like the seven day lockout, I almost felt like in BFD and Nomergon, three days is just too much. It's almost too much. The raids are super fast, but raiding landscape. Will look I don't know like seven days just feels 60. better. That also informs like system. more loot, but <clears throat> once a week as opposed to. Lastly, on this topic, three days every we three will days. Be sure, we are being generous with drops to compensate for this change. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. That's a good segue to talk about level sixty in game. Since we're getting close to 60, we think it makes sense to dig into a few more details Ooh. of what you can expect starting with Phase 4. This okay. preview is very, very early and in So no don't complain on Twitter. <laughs> it's just meant to be a minor sneak peek at some things we have cooking. <laughs> and to stress that much of what you will see here is still very much in development and some specific... I like how he has to say it like 40 times so that he doesn't get mobbed on Twitter. Could That's too good, dude. Change. This is more of a look at our general <laughs> thought process rather than the actual set in stone plans we have. Oh my god. To a few slides ago, we plan to standardize raid lockouts from level 50 and Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? This is set in stone. This includes things like All level 50 here will have raid lockouts move to a weekly. Does not affect upper black rock spire. This is not getting a lockout. So, does that does that mean I guess that means Ani and ZG and stuff will be getting a weekly reset, right? So grub Ruins of Anchorage. Yeah, you can see the gray in his beard already from reading Twitter. With our itemization updates, many of the items... Nothing, the nothing raids, quite ages you like the classic community. <laughs> ...remain relevant for a pretty good long time. Ultimately, Interesting. this is a very classic approach, and many items you got, even as your pre-raid best in slot, such as the Hand of Justice or the Savage Gladiator Chain, yeah. remained good for several tiers, and we want to carry this forward. Yeah, good good this call, good call. The, this is another vanilla thing. Um, very stark difference between vanilla WoW and current WoW. Yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to say, because um, I only played since Shadowlands. I imagine it's the same in Dragonflight, but a very big difference between vanilla rating and... Uh, retail rating is that as soon as the next raid tier is released in retail pretty much every single item from the previous raid tier is replaced and it's, and it's like replaced with world quest gear because they scale up the world quests or like mythic mythic dungeon gear um but in vanilla you know you have people using quick strike ring and xramas this is just due to how good the item is and uh, in combination with the raids being 40 man, how scarce the loot is. You're, you're splitting it up between 40 people, no personal loot. 
But yeah, you'll see Onslaught Girdles and Nax. It's not best in slot, but it's still really good for Nax at that point. Uh, of course, Thunder Fury is good for all of vanilla. So I I do like to see that because it 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 uh just imagine like vanilla WoW, where as soon as molten or as soon as Blackwing Lair came out, nobody ever went back to molten core or Anixia. As soon as AQ40 came out, nobody ever went back to Blackwing Lair. That's like so like foreign. That like that's a huge part of vanilla WoW's identity is that you know even these low level rates even some dungeon gear makes it pretty far into the rating scene. And I think that's important that they um they maintain that. That's that's an important distinction they've made there. As long as they you know they stay true to it. Uh something they uh, should be pretty careful with the is they're updating this itemization and to kind of maintain that, right? We know you will likely want to run several different raids a week, but we want to avoid a situation where logistics gets messy because you have to contend with a large number of irregular, right. unwieldy raid lock times. Yeah, three days versus By seven days. By the time days. Blackwing Lair is out, for example, there's going to be a large menu of relevant things to do at level 60, yeah. and being able to plan and schedule activities yeah, you, on a Yeah, keep in mind here, like with Saad, everything that's, hap that's happened so far is like an appetizer. Right, these level up raids, they're nice and everything, but we, we haven't gotten into Molten Core, Blackwing Lair, end game PvP. Predictable cadence is going to be very important. Last quick note on this, while Upper Black Rock Spire is technically a 10 player raid, it's never had a lockout and that will remain true. It's essentially a 10 player dungeon and will remain that way. So go for it. Right, them, yeah, good wins. point there by, uh, by Blightholtz. He says, uh, um, going back to help your friends, uh, gear up and get those important items is, is part of the fun. Yeah, like the the new raiders in your guild can just get like absolutely geared out in just a few runs. That's another reason to run the uh, the lower level raids. Another very frequently asked question we've received is, what about weapon skill racial bonuses? From the start, we've suggested that you shouldn't need to worry too much about things like orc and human weapon skills long term, and that you should feel good about choosing whatever race you want based on their aesthetics or other bonuses that race gets apart from weapon skill bonus. Right. Every phase, we get asked for a status update on this, and we just wanted to confirm that yes, the solution is coming at level 60. At level 60, you'll be able to discover a method to essentially swap in and out up to two weapon skill bonuses for your character. Mm. So, for example... If Are I they going to give uh, humans and orcs something as, as part of this? For a troll fury warrior, and I had a mace and a dagger, I could swap my passive bonuses to plus five maces and plus five daggers. Please note that these weapon skill bonuses do not stack with each other or with a certain race's normal passive weapon skill bonus. So in the same scenario, if I were a human warrior, I already get plus five maces for my racial skill. So instead, Whoa, Mashal. Mashal, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Good lord, man. Thank you so much for that. Hell yeah, Mashal. Or Michelle, I'm sorry. I screwed that up. Michelle, thank you. Guys, please clap for Michelle here. I have to go to this real quick. Please clap for Michelle. Michelle, thank you so much for please that. Clap. I really, really appreciate that. Says, I just wanted to show my gratitude for the amazing entertainment and work. Wow, thank you. You are you're you're very kind. Thank you, Michelle. You're a rather silent viewer. I'm a lurker too when I'm on Twitch. I never talk in chat. Yeah, I'm a lurker through and through. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate the support there. Um, hang on, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta go back here. So. Uh, I feel like this. This isn't as. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this isn't as big of an issue as they're making it out to be. I haven't really heard like this was a huge issue. Plus, I'm a male human Chad warrior. Not in Sod. I mean, I was in 2019 Classic. I like ma I like being a male human. I like having that that bonus, right? Weapon skill bonuses do not stack with each other Oops. or with Sorry. a certain race's normal passive weapon skill bonus. So in the same scenario... Brawl as well, thank you. Warrior, I already get plus five maces. All right, Sky Rage. Well, thank you, Brawl, as well. Sorry, I read his Brawl subbed with Prime. But no, thank you, Brawl, too, for watching me. Sky Rage, I meant to say, thank you for the Prime. So instead, I might want to use plus five bows right. and plus five daggers so that maybe my bow skill had a better chance to hit if I was pulling higher level mobs. Well, you don't... Who cares about range? 
weapon skill. There's no glancing blows. Just like your racial skills, however, these passives will stack with any weapon skill you gain from items, such as Obsidian Edge Blade or Maladath Ruined Blade. They of will Blade. not stack with racial bonuses. These unlockable passives will be available right at level 60. Kay. And while there will be a short discovery to unlock them, everyone who wants them will have access to them early on. Continuing that line of thought. Huh. Yes. I hope, um, again, they say this is all, you know, not set in stone, so let's not rush to Twitter, okay? But I hope that, um, they give something to, like, humans and orcs, right? Humans and orcs get a, a little something-something, because, you know, obviously this is information. <laughs> um, uh, people didn't know when making characters and such. We'll also be able to unlock other races' unique priest spells as well. Oh, you know what? People said this before Sod launched. This is actually becoming a thing, huh? Wow. Devouring dwarven, dwarven priests and undead priests. Plague and fear war. They're on we watch. Don't want to spoil how this will work just yet, but just like weapon skills, we do get asked about this a lot. And Interesting. This I don't. Uh, okay, so I guess I, I'm not. Feel free to disagree with me. Oh, hey, what's up, Nod Bento? As well, thank you for stopping by. Um, he says, I got you. He says that I got him into WoW. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry, Bento. Uh, I guess I'm not too much of, of a fan of these. I, I like the fact that, you know, like there's, there's differences between these races, right? Um, and obviously some are clearly better. Like Dwarf, like Fear Ward is amazing, right? It's hard to go without Fear Ward as Alliance or Devouring Plague as a Shadow Priest or something. Um, but I kind of like the fact, it's kind of like having, uh, some people have requested in Saad having shamans for the Alliance and paladins for the Horde. I think that's a big part of Vanilla's identity is having this separation and having this uniqueness between factions. I think you can take that further and having uniqueness between races. So, you know, the humans having a big PVE edge, whereas maybe if you're a human warrior grinding in rank 14, people will laugh at you for not making a gnome. Um, you could say the, the very same thing with this homogenization of weapons skill back here. You could say the very same thing with uh, PvPing as a warrior without escape artists. So you should just give humans some form of escape artists. You know what I mean? Um, I like the fact that actually there's a lot of uniqueness between different races for these classes. Like there's a big... Like human humans have that edge in PvE or uh, dwarven priests have that edge with fear ward. Or uh, undead priests, you know, okay, well, that guy's a pretty powerful shadow priest. And then otherwise, if you're a dwarf, you have stone form. So I don't, I guess I'm not too much of a fan of the homogenization here. We'll also be able to unlock other races' unique priest Personally. spells as well, such as Devouring right. Plague and Fear Ward. We don't want to spoil how this will work just yet. And yeah, but people are still like meta. Weapons. Like Noctoff says, people would, would still meta. I mean, come on, this is the classic community. It'll they'll they'll still be like a meta for PVE, so it it just kind of reshuffles. Skills. Yeah, I feel like this just reshuffles everything while making it less interesting. We do get asked about this a lot, and wanted to confirm that this was also coming and would be available early on at level sixty. There will also be discoveries tied to accessing. These um, spells. that's just me though. So this is the last big item in our level sixty. I'm gonna write an angry tweet right now. <laughs> going to be a major focus of the new level 60 in here. We're essentially totally revamping tear sets to add multiple variants. Right, I expected this. That each class can fill. This I expected. We don't necessarily intend to make a full set for every this, single this niche fine play with. style in every raid tier. I see what you're saying, Rocks and Plants. up with upwards of five to seven sets every few months. But yeah, it is, you know, it is sad. A lot of the yeah, major true. roles as well as some new play styles we've added to different classes so that most unique roles each class has access to get something cool at some point okay. during their level 60 journey. Additionally, okay. we plan to revamp many existing non-set dungeon and raid items at level 60, as well as adding new yeah, like what slot, they've been doing. nearly best in slot crafting options at 60. I like um, there's a lot of fun in slot. Or this this in last slot. part is good. Uh, one of the things I'll, I'll say with the professions that I like in in um. In terms of like, I mean, there will always be a meta, but in terms of like adding a little bit more variety, professions, obviously engineer in uh, in vanilla or uh, in either PvE or PvP, you always want to have engineer. So making things a little bit more competitive on the profession front, I think is good. 
maybe see like less engineers or at least something that's competitive. Yeah, I hope they add a ranged hunter set. That'd be amazing. Crafting options at 60. We think there's a lot of fun and interesting things we can do with the level 60 professions and profession specialization crafts, and we plan to expand on those yeah. to keep crafting more Good relevant call. for a longer period of time. Fishing, Agrant. Fishing, come on. Get a guy in the fishing. Lastly, swapping profession specializations will be easier and more flexible, but will likely have a cost associated with doing so. Okay, well, that's a gold sink right there. The old way is uh, to get all the, the stuff to switch professions with engineer from goblin to gnome or vice versa. You drop the profession and re-level it. We're still ironing out. Which I guess that's a, uh, a gold sink itself. Final design for what this will look like, but if you're familiar with how this worked in Burning Crusade, that might be a good starting point to okay. inform how this might work. I forgot Finally, how it worked in BC. I'm not a BC expert. What potential new tier Ooh. sets could look like. These are very much not finalized, so <laughs> any of the stats or set bonuses could and probably will change. We should count how many times he mentions that. Okay, so you gain five energy after you parry an attack. Oh, for tanking, of course. Blade Dance now also reduces magic damage you take. Uh, instead of putting the rogue into stealth, Banish now grants 90% mag magic damage reduction for five seconds. Wow. That's huge. You can avoid big raid mechanics with that. Uh, you could... Here. Here. Baron Geddon Bomb. When it's about to pop, run into the middle of the raid, vanish, and then everyone around you dies and you don't die, right? My Bringer Shoulders is going to be... Yeah, ret set. Increases your crit's chance with Holy Shock Exorcism. Give the Paladin a chance. Every melee hit cause holy damage true up from them. Okay. I for, Honestly, I forget what the original set bonuses was. I think, like, for Night Slayer, there's plus energy. Plus 10 energy for, like, 8-piece or something. Actually, this has been changed, too. I think it was 2, 4, 6, 8 were set bonuses. Now it's 3, 3 5, 8 as well. That's important to note. Here we have Boomkin. Boomkin Scenarion. Duration of Insect Swarm by 12 seconds. Wow. You shake a Moonfire's damage. Grants your next Starfire 10% increased damage. Stacking up to 10 times. So first off, you'll notice we've got a tanking... Oh, it's a Shockadent set. Oh, I see. ...set with a very interesting 8-piece bonus. We've also got a Yeah, Labringo... Was, I know I, uh, um, Labringo was healing, like Scenarion was healing, of course, but I mean, like, specifically... It was, I think it was like very minor stuff. Plays up key abilities such as exorcism and holy. The tier said bonuses I remember if I remember correctly set, like suck. Really leans into some of the bonuses we've recently added to Moonkin. For yeah. Us. Again, these are somewhat early on oh, rough draft. Was it seven, eight? Of some of these items. <laughs> we think we able to make exciting new variations of these iconic items. It's, it's like eight times. Cool, and it's going to be a defining feature of the level 60. Is, are, are these set so in stone, that, you guys? Do you know? Today's presentation. Thank you for bearing with us on this one. <laughs> as it was a long one. We've had a blast on this wild season of Discovery Journey with you so cool. far, and we honestly can't wait to get Phase 3 into your hands, as well as provide a bit more information on Phase 4. Cool, I, I hope I can actually play this, this as phase. Always, we want to express That'd be awesome. Thanks from the WoW Classic development team. Thank you for playing with us. Thank you for the feedback, and thank you for the participation in helping us develop this season. We'll see you again when Season of Discovery Phase 3 goes live shortly. Thank you again. And cool. Cool. Uh, I wasn't a fan of everything, right? I th I'm pretty excited for it, for the most part. Oh, this is 280k views already. Look at that crap. Classic. Oh, actually, there's a there's like a graph released recently of um, the sub, like somebody data mined the sub count of WoW. I don't know how accurate it is, but uh, basically, Classic provided like these huge boons, these huge spikes to the uh, overall population of all. Well, I think uh, I saw when Classic released, it more than doubled the population of the game, which is pretty vindicating because I listened for years of people telling me how nobody wants to play Classic and it's all rose-colored goggles and stuff. I'm sure those people are all on the internet saying how wrong they were, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I should link this for you guys. This is a common courtesy for Reacts, right? There it is if you guys want to watch it without monotone commentary. Um, I'm pretty excited for that. No, I, thought, I think that's cool. I'm not a, again, I'm not a fan of everything. I guess my only complaint would be, um, oops. Please clap. <laughs>
You can clap if you want, but I didn't mean to do that. My big, I guess my only complaint off the top of my head would be I don't like, I'm not too much of a fan of the hom homogenization of weapon skill and priest racials. I'm, I think that's fine by itself, but that's just me. But, uh, no, that's, I'm pretty excited for that. I just hope that I can play this phase more. I want to level in the world if possible for the next phase. Do maybe do like one ZF run or something. We'll do like a one run of Maradin, but those nightmare portals seem interesting. We'll be back here in Ashenvale. Right here, right? I forget which one this is. This Lethon or something. And uh, we'll see what that's all about. Yeah, Edge Master Stonks going down. If you get Edge Masters in ZF when you're leveling to 50, sell that crap right away before people unlock the, the weapon skill thing and they realize what's going on. No, that was cool. I'm glad I saved that for you guys too. That was a pretty long react. I paused like crazy. Uh, Blightholt says that he wouldn't be playing WoW if it wasn't for Saad. I hear a lot of people say that, actually. It's been pretty uh, common feedback. For for the most part, people are enjoying uh, Saad quite a bit. I like it. I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying Hardcore as well. Hey, what's up, Othi? I've been doing great. Yeah, thank, thank you again, by the way, to Michelle for the 20 gifted subs. Good lord. Appreciate that once again. Um, hang on one second. I'm gonna get a drink real quick, you guys, and I'll be right back in a moment. Beer, be. A rat. April 4th. That is the release date. April 4th for phase three. What what date is an April 4th? How do you get calendar on Windows 10? Damn it. Calendar. Google Calendar. 
Excited for phase three, yeah. Phase three uh, is looking pretty interesting. It's what, March? Thursday, Thursday. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be doing anything Thursday this far ahead. Hmm. Um, what can we do for preparation, I wonder? Probably just like farm gold. Farm as much gold and gear as possible. Gear-wise, I I'm, I got a lot of 25 gear still, I guess. Uh, I guess we can maybe get like a couple more gnomers in. When, hang on, when does that reset? Two days, 12 hours. Suraboro, thank you for the, uh, the raid there. How's it going, you guys? We just finished looking at the phase three thing. Let me give you a shout out real quick. Suraboro, thank you so much. How's it going, guys? Welcome. Farm troll necklaces. <laughs> level professions. Yeah, I could level. Uh, I need to get leather working up for sure. Hope Sad is going well. Yeah, we just ran a Nomer gun here today and looked at the phase three preview. So gladiator sense. Yeah, a lot of people are excited for that. Yeah, I think uh, I like the lock and load for hunters. That looked cool. And also that um, was it exposed weakness. Looks interesting. So that was head and bracers. So two completely new ruins. Uh, say one thing you say anything you want about Sod. Probably sold a lot of MMO mouses. Yeah, I probably sold a lot of MMO mouses. I'll tell you that much. I am running out of bar space like crazy here. I think I need a second MMO mouse or something. I gotta figure out some macros or something to sort of congregate my buttons because yeah, we're running low. No, I'm excited. I think it's going to be cool. You broke after two epic helms and two mounts for your mains. Well, they're going to um, actually, if you guys have not seen, um, they're going to be reducing all the profession stuff in f for this phase on the next phase. So if you are if you haven't pulled the trigger yet on your craftables, I would say hold off for now. Because apparently they're going to reduce them. All right, Cyril Burrow. Thank you, man. Thank you again for the uh, the raid there. Appreciate it. Yeah, we got unregistered hypercam too. We'll register it one of these days. I've been honestly, I've been spending all my money on WoW tokens, so I can't quite afford it yet. Um, guys, I think that's gonna do her for me. I'm going to get a little bit more video editing done here before bed. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream. Thank you for watching me play video games and watch YouTube videos. I appreciate it. I hope you had fun. I certainly did. I hate to do this right after our raid. Pretty bad timing, I know. We'll send you to so we'll send you guys to someone else though. I'm sure somebody else has to be streaming right now. I'm going to work on this uh, video for you guys. Oh, we do have a new video on my YouTube channel if you guys are interested in the story of Diablo 3. I released a 40 minute video about that, it just went up, so. Go ahead and uh, check that out. Oh, Savix is streaming. We're gonna raid Savix. Yeah, watch the latest YouTube video, you guys. Premiere of a new series, 40 minute video, hot off the press. Um, thank you for watching me. You guys are, are very sweet. I, ha I had a great time as always. You guys uh, take care of yourselves and each other as usual. Um, I'll, I probably will be back tomorrow with another stream. So keep your eyes peeled and we'll do more sod. We might do hardcore. And I think I want to get some Elden Ring goodness going as well. But yeah, you guys take care of yourselves. And thank you again. Well, hang on, don't go yet. Uh, we're raiding Savix. We're raiding Savix. I th I'm sure he's playing sod right now. Says he's back from Korea. I did not realize he went to Korea. Looks like he's doing some phase three prep. He's practicing for a tournament. Well, you guys, uh, tell him I sent you. Savix is a great streamer here. I think you guys will like it. So what, this might be retail. Oh, I bet you he's doing Plunderstorm. Might actually uh, stick around to see what that's all about. 
But yeah, all right, you guys. Uh, I'll see you uh, tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Peace.